Okay. It's a new day in Slipwood. Weather's nice, people are out shopping, and breakfast is being made by the half-orc Korg in the guild kitchen. Some of you have recently returned from an adventure both in and out of town. Uh, you should have collected your rewards from the day before. It's early morning. What are you all doing? Uh, I am uh, painstakingly writing down uh, all the things that have happened to me since I woke up this morning. Zarek is looking down a book once again, but is fumbling around in his pouch with his other hand, feeling over the contents of the thing he picked up from his last adventure. Okay. Do you want to go and look at it? Looks like a batch. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, I'm sitting at the table with my bacon and eggs. I'm just leaning forward like the fuck. Roll a, uh, roll a nature check. Oh, and... <laughs> you don't really know what it is. It looks kind of like a beaver. Can I try and uh, nature check it? Sure. That's enough. It's a giant badger. Oh, very nice. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh... Why is a giant badger in the middle of the room? Seems to be just okay. seems to be um eating at the moment. Uh, that... I'm getting some like Miyazaki vibes from this stuff right now. Razzle leans over to uh, uh to dazzle. Hey, I'm gonna go say hello to Badger Lady. Want to come with me? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Great. Zarek peers up from his book to watch as the two approach the badger. All right. All right. I approach. I approach uh, the the girl with the badger. What does she look like? Uh, you see a a halfling girl. Uh, long red hair and, and two pigtails on the sides. Uh, she seems to be eating some porridge. She she has green eyes. Looks up at you. Just doesn't really say anything, but she seems a little uncomfortable. Oh, right, okay. Uh, Razzle will just sort of... We're not bad guys. Razzle will sit down. Hello there. I like your badger. She kind of stares at you, trying to figure out who the fuck you are. She she looks at the badger and goes, Um, hi. Uh, she's, she's gonna... The the she's gonna be talking. Essentially, she's talking to the badger to you. Hey, hey. <laughs> um, Peanut, tell them my name is Beth. The badger kind of snorts at you. Hello there, Beth. I'm Razzle, and I extend a hand out towards the badger. The badger shakes your hand. Oh, oh my God! Dazzle is like, oh, can I pet it? Beth kind of looks at at a uh, peanut. Um, he wants to know if you can if he can pet you. I want you to roll an animal handling check. Oh god! Wait a minute, I need to roll animal handling. To, to, to see if the badger will let you. Yes. Oh, okay. That badger makes... might bat your hand off, man. It's big. Hmm. The badger uh, peanut will allow you to to pet it. Uh, his, his fur is very soft and, and fluffy. Peanut seems to enjoy the petting and attention. He, he starts petting more babies. <laughs> Does kind of like the back leg thumb thing that dogs do. Oh, Rat Dazzle is super excited. <laughs> That's what he's gonna be missing for the next, like, minute. Okay. Alright. I'll hop in a little bit then and, like, try and, uh... Actually, I'm gonna stay in front of the, uh... Is the badger now like, or, or is Peanut now a little bit busy with um uh with Dazzle? Is he like on the ground like while he's while he's petting him, or is he? Still no, no, he he's still seated, so to speak. Okay. All right. Uh, in that case, I'm gonna look up uh back up at Peanut and ask him, um, is there a reason that um, yeah, 
Beth asks or, or like talks to you first before she talks to us? Uh, is she is she nervous? Uh, Beth kind of looks at you and then looks at Pina, but it it doesn't look like she's gonna respond to that question. That's fair enough. And I take out my uh, my book and I start just like do like doodling a little a little picture of uh, of Dazzle petting uh, Peanut and like Ro- writing down. Roll a dexterity yeah, check to see how well you can draw. <laughs> a dexterity check for it. Okay. Yeah. See how well you can. Yeah, that's about right. Fur is going everywhere. It's the summer. It's shedding. Seems accurate. I. Uh, why is it? Why is it adding a one? I don't know. That's weird. Hold on. Let me let me look at your sheet real quick. Make sure there's nothing fucky going on. Fucky. Fucky. Let's see. You are. Let's see. Dexterity. Hmm. Oh, Lillian? Well, I'll probably go ahead. Does anybody else see what I can only assume is you doing things here? Yes. Yeah, what the fuck is Dio doing here? It's a lurker token. Oh. And he was all like, <laughs> It's me! Hmm. What? I don't know why it's adding a plus... Should we just knock off the plus one and say it's a ten? I'm just gonna roll again just to see. Okay, yeah, there's something weird going on in your sheet here. Hold on. Let's see, Derek, Sterity, two plus one. Why is it calculating it that way? Hold on, this needs to be corrected. You guys talk amongst yourselves. So how about that dodger fur, huh? Oh, okay. It's because of Jack of All Trades. Oh, all right. Okay. okay. Yep. Okay. So first roll eleven. Uh, it kind of looks like them, sort of. Kind of looks like a badger. All right. Yeah, kind of. I'll roll with it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. So what do you guys do? Sounds good to me. So as the bounty boy, he starts walking, and he immediately stops in place and looks over at our first character. He's like, hmm, okay. And I kind of elbows the rascal in the hip, I guess, and points. I'll spin around and I'll take a look. What do I see? Why can't you just go around here? Ah, sir. Derek kind of just notices the two looking at him and just immediately buries his face back into his book. Razzle uh, very loudly goes, Hello there, Scale Brother! From across the uh, from across the hall. He pulls the book up and hides his face behind him. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> um, uh, eh, eh. I mean, um, we are pretty spooky, aren't we? Oh no! <laughs> Razzle will turn to a Razzle will turn to Beth. I'm sorry if I scared you, by the way. Uh, I, I I tend to do that sometimes. Uh, we're gonna go pick out a job. Do you want to come with us? Roll a persuasion check. Okay. Can I assist? Mm. Uh, you both of you roll separately. All right. Okay, so I'm a char- I'm, I'm a charismatic persuasion. guy. What? I'm a charismatic guy. Watch how I fuck this up. Okay. Yeah. I'm charismatic too. I think I get a five. Not bad. At least it's not in that one. Um, you, uh, let's see. Dazzle, you kind of carried carried more favor with the badger than Beth. But um, Beth will look at Razzle and, and give kind of a nod. And then whisper to uh, Peanut. Peanut says, okay. Pick a quest. Oh, excellent. Um... So I'll turn to a, uh, uh, I'll turn to a, uh, to Daz and I'll go. So, uh, how about you go uh, and try and see if you can get us a good quest, and I'll have a little dragon to dragon chat over there with uh, your new friend. You know what you're doing. I'll try. I'll try my best. Uh, 
Uh, you see several quests. Some of them seem a little out of your wheelhouse, but you see one in particular. It's for a... Uh, you're not sure if it's a scientist or or some sort of a magic user, but it's for a null hunt. They want you to bring back a singular null for studies. Okay, Raz will think that obviously he's some kind of normal creature and he's certainly not going to be able to harass me with this, so I'm just going to All right. All right, you gotta send. You gotta send it to. Hold on. You guys uh, give the quest to Lily to accept it. Well, I was bringing it over to. Uh, Lazarus, oh, okay, okay. And then I assume he's talking to Uncle Esther over there. Yeah, while uh, while uh, Dazzle was over, over the board. So here's the, here's here's what I was doing. Uh, I, I I go to the very edge of the uh, uh, of the, the the table and sort of like pick a stool which is far away from uh, from from Umbra's character. And then, like, I, like, slowly, like, slide it across the table. I think I'm being really nonchalant about it, but it's supposed to be, like, really obvious. And then I eventually just end up sitting next to him. <laughs> Zarek just kind of eyes up from his book a little bit and uh, doesn't say anything. Try, trying not to make eye contact. I want to roll perception to see what the reason is. 16. Are you, uh, are you trying to hide the book, or is it just kind of... Um, no, it's just a, it's a book about the history of the land. So what's the title? Um. Land of the Land? <laughs> a, a history of, forgive me, I forget the name of the world, um. Uh. uh the town, I mean. Oh, Slipwood. A, a history of Slipwood. It, it, the, it, but it's written in an art, in, in language that you wouldn't have normally been able to identify, so. What's the language? Dra uh, Draconic. Hmm. I can't read this. Hmm. I can read Draconic. Well, if you choose to look over his shoulder, you can see the book. Yeah, that, that's, 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 yeah that, that's, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, like, kind of <laughs> push your hand into his hand until he's out of the way of the book. <laughs> <laughs> Zarek fumbles <laughs> as as uh, Razzle looks over. Uh, Zarek notices him and fumbles with the books in, book in his hands, and it flops down to the table. Can can I uh, help oh. you? Oh, uh, sorry about that. Uh, I can get your book for you if you want, and I'll like lean on no, the table. No, it's 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 quite all right. I'm just familiarizing myself with the town of uh, Slipwood. Ah, of course. Always good to know where we are. I'm Razzle. Nice to meet you. And I stick out a hand. Uh, Zarek uh, pulls out his hand and shakingly uh, grabs yours. Zarek, nice to meet you. Mm, lovely to meet you too. So you read a lot? I, I suppose. Hmm. Is it like a, a story or. Just, oh, wait, actually, no, sorry, you already answered that question. That's me being stupid. <laughs> I apologize, I do that sometimes. <laughs> It's it, it's quite all right. No, it's just I, I I like I I prefer reading to uh, talking. Oh, I mean that's perfectly fair. You know, I think I once met a gnome who was exactly the same as you. And Razzle's going to kind of go into this long-winded story about like a, a, a very antisocial gnome. Derek just kind of doesn't know how to respond and just gazes down at the floor. And you know what? Sometimes the best just not to mention your name. Oh, this is Dazzle. He's my best friend. Uh oh. Uh, hello there, Dazzle. So you work for the guild? Uh, yeah, I actually just went on my, uh, my, my first quest the other day. What happened? Um, well, we, uh, we, we had, we went to go investigate a man's basement and, uh, a uh, oh, quick, quick question for the DM. Are we allowed to share quest details if another character asks? Yeah, you guys are talking. And uh, 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 we found some really dangerous stuff down there. Even a gnome who uh, he, he, he was making illegal drugs in the basement. Uh, we, we managed to stop him and bring him into the authorities. But uh, it, 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 there was, it, it, was, it was quite overwhelming. Yeah, sounds like you had quite the time. Yeah, well, I mean, being knocked out a couple times certainly uh, 
it, it certainly gives you experience, I guess. Oh, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm, I, I'm okay. It's just, it's a lot more than I expected. Oh, well, you know, the adventuring lifestyle is kind of dangerous then, isn't it? But half the fun of it. Actually, me and Dazzle went on our first quest a few days ago. Uh, oh, excuse me. Oh, uh, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I, I can't remember a thing. Yeah, neither can I. Uh, a book, you say? Yeah. Oh yeah, I've taken to like writing everything down, and I like show him like my uh, my my book that I've been like doodling and writing in uh, writing in. So you see, uh, a friend of mine, uh, Marcus, uh, he told me that uh, basically we went to this weird sort of place called the the Fay Fay Wild. Is that it? The Fay Wild. The Gay Wild. The Lay Wild. Something. Hey. Something like that. Um. Umbra, I want yes. you to roll a history check. Alright, um, pull up my character. Sorry, I'm not, I'm still not used to this. Uh, where is history? It's under... You're in your skills. Yeah. It's in alphabetical order. Above okay, there we go, I got it, I got it. You well, got it. I am, I am a scholar, and I have, so... Scholar, no. Oh! Wow. <laughs> yeah. So... Yeah, so you know... A, a lot about the fey walls. You know it's where fey creatures come from. You know it's super duper dangerous. Um, you know that a, a lot of evil fey come from there. Good fey. A lot of the fey gods are, are in that realm. It's very rare that people actually go there, come back one unscathed, and two actually remember what happened. Zer Zerak, who is normally speechless just sits there slack-jawed for a moment as they two try to talk about what they had been through before shouting, How? How? Have you been to the Feywild? How? Are you alive? So it's it's, it's, it's impossible! I look at, uh, I, I look all around me, like, 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 the, to, to sort of to check that nobody else is listening, and I lean into a, a, a to Zarak's uh, ear, and I just sort of whisper, We are kind of bad! No, that that's not a valid excuse. The, the Feywilds are quite a dangerous place. M mortal beings shouldn't be able to just wander in first off without some sort of insanely magical power and even survive. That's ha ha. So um, I can't even find any more words to say. Ra Razzle and. Razzle and Dazzle, you both remember a, a basically a portal in the forest before your memory goes. No way, you guys were under yeah. the influence of the charm. Oh, you don't remember anything. Don't Never mind. Never mind. I was about to tell Zarek, well, the secret, you gotta listen to the good music and you wake up the woods, apparently. What happened to us? Yeah, um, apparently there was also this weird thing where, like, uh, Marcus kept telling me that I kissed a goat man, and uh, yeah, just like, sort of. I sort mean, of according to this stuff you wrote in your book, I didn't know. Oh. You were Eric, Zarek, 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 you you doing? are you are aware that satyrs tend to lure people into the fey walls with flute music. A satyr in Slipwood, well, that is quite a thing. I I'll, I'll have to talk to the guildmaster about this later. That's that's quite a dangerous being, not only to exist in a location that's nearby, but to lure you into the fey wilds. That is is quite. Quite troublesome. Well, I mean, we're not dead. You're not dead after dealing with that gnome. You must be pretty strong. So I think we Yes, but that was just. I was practically fighting a drug kingpin. You are in one of the most dangerous places in the known universe. You do, know, is... that a drug... you do know that a drug kingpin is still a pretty high profile target to take down, right? It, yeah, yes, but this this goes beyond that. This is a place of gods, of. It, very powerful magical creatures. This is not something to be trifled with. A simple drug lord, uh, the guards could have been taken care of if we had, if they had gotten there soon enough. The fact that we did it, you know. Well, to be uh, fair, we didn't need to go there. We kind of got taken there. But yeah, what we'll keep you know if they say you want to go to the Bay Wild, don't worry. Say uh, no. <laughs> is, it, it is kind of still lost in translation as to how. Yeah, we'll lays the job paper on the table. So this one doesn't have the word Feywild in it. And you want to help us out with it? Uh, what are we doing? I, I must have... No? I think they meant no. Should be. 
annulled. Have... Annulled. Yes, the, they're smaller creatures. Um, well, I mean, I, I'll admit I am a bit apprehensive, knowing that you two were practically lured into one of the most dangerous places. But uh, I, 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 I did say I, I did. I did tell myself I wanted to become an adventurer, and uh, since. N none of my past friends seem to be here today. I guess I, uh, I, I have no other choice. I, I will venture with you two. Razzle puts an enthusiastic arm around uh, Zarok's shoulder. Don't you worry there, Scale Brother. You've got two of the best bards in the whole guild helping you out. And you got Badger Girl over there as well. Oh, sorry, Beth helping us out as well. And I wave to, uh, to Beth and, uh, and Peanut across the way. Yeah, Peanut's gonna let her help. He, he, Beth he, he, kind of gives a small wave. He looks very afraid at this whole situation and just kind of nods meekly in agreement. Wonderful. Well, I'll go talk to Miss Lillian and uh, you guys can get yourselves uh, all ready to go then. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Alright. I'll take the uh, I'll take the piece of paper and I'll walk up to Lily. Uh, as, as you guys, guys approach, Lily, Lily regards you with, all with a smile. Congratulations on your first successful adventures, all of you. Glad none of you died. Uh, uh, are, are you heading, heading off now? We are indeed, Miss Lillian, and I put the, the, the piece of paper on the table. She, she looks down. down one bowl, please. She, she looks down, down the, at the paper. Oh. Um. She, is something wrong? She, she seems hesitant. hesitant. Um. One moment. And, and she, she stands, stands up and walks, walks into Meg's office for a bit. Well, Miguel and Julio adopt uh, the shy lizard. There, there is, there's kind of like a, a lift up thing on the counter. She can lift up and walk, walk through. Okay. Uh, what is, I want to roll perception. What does the paper say? Never mind. You're blind. Carry the tradition from last episode. You can't see shit. He's, he's too short. He's looking over the top of the table and it's just. Yeah, you, you can't, can't. You can't, can't really, really tell, tell what it's saying. saying. Should I describe it to you, or would you like me to get you a box? He drags a stool from the table and he hops up on it, and I'm gonna try it again. Oh. Uh, what? Uh, what, uh, what languages, languages do, you do you know? Uh, let me check. Obviously, it's halfling. Uh, there's common, halfling, and that's it. You, you don't, don't know, know what it says. says. Wait, where, where, where is, uh, here, maybe I can take a look at it. I know, It's, it's uh, the paper on the desk that's part of the magic shop. Zarek takes a look at the paper, um, Beth, I know... Beth kind of looks at you guys. You probably shouldn't be snooping on Lillian's desk. She's scary. Oh, sorry! Uh... Well, I wouldn't call it snooping. It's out the open. Z <laughs> Zarek still takes a peek at it. He knows... Back. He knows Draconic, uh... And human... I don't know if that was common qualified. or common, excuse me. Human. <laughs> I speak. I, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> my, I mind, my mind's a little bit on World of Warcraft sometimes. Go ahead. You know, I'm actually very well versed in the language of spice myself. Shut up. <laughs> spice? 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 But uh, does does it pass conic or? Uh, let me just go. Do you? Does anyone know Infernal? No. Uh, no. Then none of you know what it says. Dang. Okay. Alright. <laughs> fine! No, 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 wait, no, my god, I need to find it, I need to find it. Um, fine. Keep your secrets. <laughs> <laughs> that- oh, I read that book too! Emerald sent me that just the other day. Uh, after about six or seven minutes, Meg, Lillian, and a person you've never seen before come out of her office. Russell's kind of like like lightly drumming his fingers on the table. Uh, Lillian goes, sorry for the wait. Um, as they approach you all, Meg steps forward. Uh, good morning. Uh, you're the ones going after the Knoll, right? We are indeed, Guildmaster. Okay, listen, Knolls can be pretty nasty and hard to deal with, especially when you don't have much firepower. She's kind of looking at the two bards in particular. <laughs> um, a dear friend of mine sent one of his students here for some real-world training. I believe this would be a great experience for her. She, tor she turns towards the woman. Uh, don't be shy. Introduce yourself. 
A woman steps into view from behind Meg, a human woman. A completely shaved head, yellow robes, a red scarf, and a quarterstaff strapped to her back. Uh, she puts her hands together and gives you all a bow. Hello, my name is Tilda. I was sent here by Sensei Don to get some combat experience. I will do my best to protect all of you on this adventure. Lovely to meet you, Miss Tilda. I'm Razzle, and I hold out a hand. Yes, uh, Tilda, Tilda will, um, shake your hand. Uh, Mega looks at you all. The Don was in my very first party, so be nice to us students and try to stay safe out there. You see Meg give Tilda a pat on the shoulder while muttering something before walking away and leaving you guys. Perception. Well, a perception check. I would, also, remember your I, 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 I would also like to see what she is saying. Can I roll? Or, sure. Oh, well, he's already rolled one, so, so. So, you don't really understand what she says. I, roll an arcana check. Oh, ooh. I, I, I will, should I, I have to roll both then, right? Yeah, I'd say roll perception to hear it, and then roll, and we'll see if you roll high enough to hear gotcha. it. Gotcha. So I'm, All right. I roll arcana? Yes. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay. Hey, that's, not bad. that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, are you gonna roll too, Umbra? No, nah, nah, I'll just let Dazzle tell me. Okay, so. so you can't really tell what she was saying, but it seems to be a spell of some kind. Uh, okay. Yeah, you you haven't really seen you haven't really seen this sort of a spell before, so you don't exactly know what it is. Oh. Well, uh, Okay. So you have a you have a monk and you have a ranger in your party. Hey, very nice. We're a five man team. I didn't know Peanut was a ranger. Yes, Peanut's a ranger. Yeah. Lillian kind of looks at you all and, and nods. Okay, I think you guys should be fine now and she walks back behind her desk. Mm-hmm. Um, the, should I roll a history check so I can explain? Oh, this why? would be a nature check. Uh, well, I would not want to tell, because I have no knowledge of nature, so go yeah. for it. Let's, let's see if okay, maybe... A and a and a badger, like, okay, what's going on let's see if... <laughs> Beth doesn't really know what a, what a null is either. <laughs> How's oh, a re... Right. Okay, well, uh... You know what? I'm gonna try it. Uh, maybe I know it. Are you? Do you have? Do you have proficiency in nature checks? Mm, let me pull up my thing. Is there a check mark? I think you said nature is intelligence. I have. I have three in nature. So. Do you have a check mark? Nope. Roll a disadvantage. Oh, a disadvantage. All right. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Sorry, I just turned back on the music. You kind of vaguely know what they are. They're sort of like hyena people. I'm uh, Zarek, just stammers. Uh, the knoll, uh to to Dazzle's question. Uh, the the gnolls, they're they're sort of small mammalian like creatures. Um, I've read about them a bit, but I couldn't find much knowledge back in my time at the Wizard Guild. So you you do know that they um you do know that they're they're pretty nasty and usually hunt in a pack. Yes, uh, they, they, they're pretty aggressive creatures, and they're not typically one to stray far from one another. Yeah, but these are like little pushovers, right? Like, uh, mm, like I mean, from the, right? from, the brief, from the brief bit I know, they are very aggressive. Even even smaller creatures that, are, that can be aggressive, I've found, can uh, be quite dangerous, as the case was with that gnome. So the person you're looking for, Lillian, kind of interjects. Um, it doesn't say much in the description here, but she has long red hair, uh, usually hangs around the Dagger's Fancy. It's a bar towards uh, out in the flat somewhere. And those of you who are who have been in town, the flats are kind of like the, not really the slums of the town, but just the lower income area. I forget, was that where... Mandark was, or...? Um, no. Mandark was just in the general middle town. Okay. I've never been there. 
Yeah, I don't think you guys have been there yet. Um, right. since I was reading about the history of the town, should I roll a history check on it, or? Yeah, you can roll a history check to to generally gauge where the flats might be. Okay, let's see. There. <laughs> I mean. Also, on the way to the flats, I want to hit up the marketplace for okay. an eye patch and a golf club bag. Oh, I've I I've, I have never been to the marketplace. I I I think I could find myself something, you know, that there as well. Uh, we'll look at uh, uh, at. Beth and uh, Tilda. Wait, no, I, I think I rolled disadvantage again. Um, that, that's fine. Uh, the 17 was enough anyway. Um, so, yeah, you have read about, you know, the town in general, found a few town maps. You, you have a pretty decent idea of how to get to the flats. Perfect. You guys want to head out? Yes. Yeah. All uh, right. uh, be uh, before we leave, uh, I'd actually just like qu uh, to quickly just like lean over the, the counter towards Lily and then just be like, have you been uh, doing any more practice with the flute? Liliana takes out her flute. Well, we can give it a try. No, uh, no. Uh, we, 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 gra we grab, I grab uh, Razzle and I say, no, no, that's that's quite all right. We're, we'll be leaving now and I lead him out the door. As I'm being dragged away, I call back to Lillian. I'll play you a song when I come back, Miss Lillian. <laughs> Lillian smiles and just waves. <laughs> Alright, so you guys head out. Let me move you to the town map. Alright, as we're walking, I ask, uh, Sarah, do you got a fear of people or something? I, I apologize, what did you say? I, I, I asked, what, you got, are you afraid of music or something? Just no, it's just, it, it's just the tale you gave last time with the flute and the luring. I, I, I'd rather not have <laughs> an infernal play us music with a flute that just doesn't... Uh, Dazgo's like, eyes light up. Like, you're right. Hey, uh, Razzle, let's keep playing the flute until we get to find the one that hits the Feywild. Oh, <gasps> That's a great no, idea! No, 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 <laughs> you, okay, fine, okay, fine. Let, let's, so let us go down to the Market District and see what we can find. Market District? Okay. Uh, what are you guys looking for first? Okay, I'm looking for an eye patch, and basically I don't know what you would call it, like a golf club bag, so if you find any weapons, you can put them in a bag and bring them back to sell. I've never been to the market, so I don't know what kind of stuff it sells. Um, so, I, I, I would suppose an eye patch you could find at just a... Oh, wait, hold on. I think I know where you can find one. Give me a second. Oh, my God. Also meat. Like a, like a steak or something. Well, that will be at one of the restaurants or the taverns. Well, there's also oh, butchers. Like a, yeah, like a butcher shop for raw meat. Are there any spell books or scrolls? One thing at a time. Sorry. Okay, so we'll start with who spoke first, which would be the eye patch and what else? It's basically a golf club bag, so if you find melee weapons on dead bodies or something, you can put them in the bag and take them back to sell. Well, I mean, you already have a bag. Like, everyone has a bag. Just the eye patch then, and the raw steak and meat. Okay, we'll start at we'll start with the um, eye patch. Uh, you guys ask around. Essentially, what you're looking for is an accessory. So you ask around, and you are eventually pointed to a little shop called Druid Crafts. Uh, as you enter, a little bell rings. And you see rolls of fabric and mannequins everywhere. Fresh flowers are in the wall-mounted vases and fill the shop with the scent of lavender. I cast fireball. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know fireball. I'm sorry. Go on. Okay. Uh, give me one second. I have to roll a thing. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. There you are. Um, just out of curiosity, what are your guys' states of dress, your clothes? Are they ripped? Are they pristine? Anything like that? Um, my cloak, my cloak is fine, but the, uh, the cloth under it is a little torn. Okay. And, um, 
Uh, what are your guys' passive perceptions? Well, uh, uh, my passive perception is well. I mean, it's listed as zero. It looks like so. Uh, Mine's eleven. Okay. But I, I don't know where to unless, unless like okay, I'm looking the wrong. Bottom, you know your skills, acrobatics, animal handling. Yeah, um, yeah. At, at the bottom, like below that. Oh, ten, I got ten. I got ten. Okay. Yeah. So, so uh, um. Well. Okay. So uh, what is it's pronounced, pronounced Zarek, right? right? Yes. Okay. So Zarek, um, you don't really notice this until after it happens, but you look down and there's. A, a little woman who has just cast mending to fix the rip in your clothes. Uh, oh, um, th 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 thank you. I guess uh, I guess I did need to fix my, my clothes after my last adventure. Yeah. So, uh, she appears to be a gnome woman. Her wild green hair is decorated. Her wild green hair is decorated in flowers, vines, and feathers. Uh, she's wearing various handmade necklaces and multiple earrings. Bright green eyes stare at each one of you with excitement and curiosity at the possibility of new clients. Welcome to Druidcraft. She um, kind of steps away. It's odd. None of you saw her. But um, she kind of maneuvers her way around to the front of you. Uh, let me get her picture up real quick. Hooray! More people we can torment later. Oh. My name is Pip. How may I help you? Uh, looking for an eye patch. An eye patch? Well, yeah, I got those. Sweet. How much? Uh, one copper piece. She got it. One copper. Alright, she hands you an eye patch. Anything else you guys need? Cloaks, boots, gloves. Necklaces, rings, I got them all. Um, so, this is, this is, sorry, I, 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 need, I need to break uh, game for a second. Um, I have no idea what outfits do in D&D. Like, you know, whether they increase stats or anything, or how you would know they would. This, so. well, she's, well, these are just general clothes. She, like, if you want magical oh, items... Okay. You, if you want magical items, you those have to be specially made, essentially. Okay. These ones look fancy. <laughs> yes, um, these are just nice clothes. Okay. Um, no, I, I think I'll, I was just with them so he could get his eye back. But uh, no, I'm not looking for any my, myself. Uh, thank you for mending. Do I owe you anything? Oh, no, it's a cantrip. Very simple. Well, thank you. Well, if you guys need anything... You can always come back to Druid Crafts. I give her a thumbs up and I and I and I walk out of the shop. All right. Well, um, well, you certainly look all new and fresh. I uh, I I uh, now that you've gotten your clothes, I could really use um, spell book or another spell, uh, some thing for. Excuse me, a spell book or some scrolls. Pardon me, my mind is elsewhere. That's okay. Uh, on the way, keep an eye out for a butcher shop. Yeah, I, I would say is it's fairly. I'd say it's fairly easy to find a butcher. You can get, I'd say, uh, three rations worth of just meat for about three copper. Okay, I have one copper and one silver, so I'm guessing I would use the silver. Uh, one silver is one silver is ten copper. Yes. Is there a place that sells the stuff I mentioned, or no? Uh, you said spell stuff? Yes. Uh, yes. Um, so you're able to kind of find your way to the apothecary. Uh, oh. yeah. Let's see. Dee -dee -dee -dee. So you guys walk in. Uh, various herbs are drying on the walls. Some... Look, wait a minute. Yeah, some powdered enclosed mason jars on the shelves. There is a thick medical smell in the air. 
Um, across the way you see a portly figure examining a vial of red liquid. Uh, he's wearing fancy robes made of blues, reds, and purples. Uh, he's a gray tabaxi with long, slightly singed whis whiskers and a monocle over the left eye. Um, his ears perk up upon your entrance and he very carefully corks the vial before placing it on the table in front of him. Uh, the claws of his feet lightly tap on the floor as he makes his way over. So this would be... Oh, it's Catboy. Oh my god, this is amazing. He's so fancy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I also, I also want to make sure for game purposes, I'm not wearing the eye patch right now. I just have the cat and the hat okay. the carry. Yes! I god, love that name. <laughs> I love it. Welcome to my shop. My name is Gail. How may I help you? Hello, hello, Gail. Um, I, I'm Zarek. I, I'm a new wizard in town, and I, I've been looking for some artifacts that could help me upon my uh, adventures, like some scrolls or a spell book, possibly. Oh, scrolls or spell books? We don't really carry those. Uh, let me. See. Well, we might have some scrolls. Give me a moment. I forget, you can write a scroll into a spellbook, can't you? You can, but it takes time and money. No, I get it. Like everything. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get that. You wouldn't steal a carriage. Am I pirating spells now? Grand Theft <laughs> Carriage. There are, maybe. <laughs> so he, he comes back uh, with a few... He has, like, maybe three, uh, three spell scrolls. Ooh. Uh, let's see. I have a spell of ray. Of, I have a scroll of ray of sickness, a scroll of arcane lock, and I have a scroll of purify food and drink. Well, I guess I should ask Razzle and Dazzle. Um, how good is your cooking skills? If, if you don't mind me asking. How good is my cooking skills? I mean, I can breathe fire, so I can pretty much heat up anything. <laughs> See, I think. You said, and you said, food, drink, uh, ray of sickness, and what was the other one? He has a scroll of purify food and drink, scroll of yeah. ray of sickness, and a scroll of arcane lock. Lock or luck? Lock. L O C K. Uh, lock. Okay. Um. Can I examine the arcane lock? I'm interested in what the spell does. Or can I can I figure that out from looking at a scroll? Mm, he'll just tell you. Um, what a, what is this arcane lock? I've never read about it before. It's essentially just a magic lock. If you want something to stay closed and be a little bit more difficult to open, you can cast a spell, and it makes a magical lock for you. Uh, though the one you would remember this spell because that's what Dexter used to close keep that door closed. Oh, I yes, no, I I, I do remember the spell. Okay, so um and the this ray spell, what does this do? Oh, this one. Uh essentially, once you hit a target, uh it gives them a little pop of poison damage. You know, just huh. makes them not feel so great for a little bit. Um, well, I, I think I'll take the arcane lock. How, how much is it, would it be? Let me see. This would be... Scroll of arcane lock, that's going to be about 200 gold pieces. Oh. <laughs> Zerok just kind of stammers. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I, I never realized spell scrolls were so expensive, I... I've never had to purchase one before. Um, I, I, I'm afraid I must say I must mine. I, I would love to purchase it another day, though, if it's available. But uh, I, I'm not that. I don't have that much funds. No, um, that's that's perfectly fine. Magic things are not cheap. Uh, I guess so. Um, anything that you would be like, I don't know, fifty gold or less that could help a budding adventurer. 
Well, I have... Uh, you can buy a potion of healing for 50 gold. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Um. That 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 that's okay. But uh, your shop is quite fantastic, and I, I I'm sorry to have wasted your time, but I, I clearly see now that I I don't possess the funds for such a uh for for such items yet. He kind of gives a hearty laugh. It's okay, my boy. It happens all the time. But uh, good luck on your adventure. All right, Zara. Zarek thanks him and departs with the group. We'll be back later, Mr. Gale. He gives a wave. I'm looking forward to it. Goodness, I did not know magical artifacts were so expensive. Razzle kind of like looks at uh, uh, at Zarek like as we leave. You're not very good at talking to people, are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm Razzle. not. Razzle sort of just, like, claps Eric on the shoulder. Don't you worry, friend. <laughs> a couple of days with us and you'll be just fine. So precious. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of, like, have my look. I, I like, look at Daz. I'm like, aw, this guy. Okay, so I'm looking at the, the top title. We got to meet... And Razzle says it out loud because he didn't forget it. <laughs> <laughs> we have to go and meet somebody in the flat. You guys are going oh. to meet uh, Sathana. Does it say where in the flats? Yeah, it was a pub. It was called the um, Daggers Fancy. The, da the, the 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 voice of God tells me that oh. it's the Daggers Fancy. God. <laughs> <laughs> I I remember reading about that in the uh, history book. Um, I can take us there. It's just north of of the market. Oh, lovely! Well, lead the way then, friendo. Zarek takes them to the flat, and mm. I don't know if you want to take it from here, teacher. Yeah, okay, hold on. Let me close my marketing book. For some reason, I think of Bitcoin when you say marketing. But it's like, <laughs> <laughs> Ichi, investing early. I know, well, right? Apparently, Bitcoin is like super up. Oh, yeah, it's huge. It's, it's crazy. All right, you guys, you guys walk towards the north end, the end of town, and you notice that the streets get a little more uneven the buildings start to look a little older and less pristine uh there's a few more uh homeless people wandering around looking for food or panhandling uh in general the area is a bit more ske sketchy than what you've previously seen razzle will uh sort of like He's looking around, and he, uh, he he definitely feels a little sad as he's walking through here, but he cautiously like keeps a hand close to his sword. Right, <laughs> and uh, Dazzle is kind of hiding behind uh, Razzle's leg as he goes to walk. You know I'm not going to let anybody hurt you, right? Yeah, I won't let them hurt you. You can't hurt me, and I know that. I'm pretty sure that a dragon bo I'm <laughs> Look... I'm pretty sure that two fully grown dragonborn and a big giant badger are the scariest things in this whole place. Peanut gives, gives kind of a rower sound. What he said. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. And this familiar bad we could be a little bit more scary. Beth, Beth kind of like narrows her eyes at you. She what? She, she narrows, narrows her eyes, eyes at you. you. Uh, okay. Let me move you guys to the Dagger's Fancy. And just to be clear, I stole that joke from British Ninja. <laughs> he gives a nod of head and walks. He'll be God tomorrow, you die first. What is this music? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is there a fight club? I can't see anything. Hold on. I don't want to knock on that door. It sounds like our kind of place. Hold on. I gotta copy Beth over. There we go. So the door should be here. You guys can go in, right? The uh, where, where did you go? go? Wait, oh, there we go. All right, there we go. Ah. Okay. Uh, wow, this place is barren. Well, I, I'm, I'm not, not putting tokens for all the people in there. But, um... Okay. okay. <gasps> anyway. Anyway. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is a rough-looking place. The windows seem to have been 
broken and patched up several times. The glass looks new, but the frame has clearly seen better days. Uh, the entrance is marked by a heavy metal door. As you entered, you're, greeting, you're greeted with the sound of punches connecting and grunts of pain. Uh, you see a bartender casually drying a glass while looking towards the pit. He gives you a brief glance before turning his attention back to the pit. Next to him seems to be a list of bets. Uh, most of the patrons are sitting with drinks or jeering at the arena of some sort. Let's see. Yep, that's it. Oh, hold on. Among the crowd, you see a short redhead that matches the general description you were given. Uh, she's a short human woman with long, frizzy red hair. She has her feet propped up on the table next to a mug. It seems like she's taking notes while watching the current fight. She looks human. Sweet. I'm going to uh, uh, to approach the barman. Alright. He, he looks up uh, from his... To kick off. Okay. Um, okay. He, he looks up from his uh, looks up from the fight. Hello, my name is Ivan. How may I help you? Pleasure to meet you, Mister Ivan. Uh, two ales, please. There be two coppers. I slide him two coppers, and he slides you two ales. Excellent. I will take those, and I will uh, approach the, uh, the the table of the uh, the frizzy red haired woman. Pardon me, I gotta go grab a drink of water, I'll be right back. Alright, go, go ahead. ahead. Derek asks for a drink of water. <laughs> yeah. Just just a water for me, please. He'll give you the water, water's free. Okay. Okay, so you are approaching the frizzy haired woman? I am indeed. Alright, she she uh she looks up at you guys. Hold on. She's gonna have her roll an insight check real quick. Mm-hmm. Okay. She's going to look at you guys. Hello. How can I help you? Hello there. Would you be Miss uh what was the name of the woman again? Oh, hold on, let me reveal her picture so you can see it. Savannah. Savannah, is that it? Yes. Savannah. Okay. Savannah. Savannah. The Manos. <laughs> the Manos. Hello there. Uh, would you be Miss Savannah? And I put the tankard of ale down in front of her and then sit down opposite her. That I am. How may I help you? Oh, my name is Razzle. This is my best friend, Dazzle. And we're here from the Platinum Scales Guild. We're uh, here to repl uh, answer to your job about uh, getting a knoll. Oh, great, great. I was wondering if anyone would take that quest. What's wrong with her? I look over to, uh, to Dazzle and sort of like, <laughs> with, with my eyes, I want to just be like, something tells me her her lip doesn't go all the way. Well, actually, no, what's, what's a medieval term? Something tells me her bow isn't strung the whole way. I have with my eyes. no idea. Are are you gonna stay where you are, Zarek? Umbra. Umbra? What? You gonna stay where you are? Or no, I'm coming. All right. One second. He comes back with like a plate of food. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, what's going on over here? Um, what's your intelligence modifier? Me? Yeah. Uh, hold on. Yeah. I'm full of Pringles right now. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, my, my intelligence modifier, that's the... Oh, it's three. Okay, and uh, the you, Razzle and Dazzle, what's yours? One. Uh, my intelligence modifier, yeah, my intelligence zero. Okay, so then we'll immediately uh, look at Zarek. Oh, good. Uh, hi, uh, are you with these two here? Uh, y yes, I am. Okay, wonderful. Uh, so you guys are going for the gnolls, correct? Mm-hmm. You guys uh, want to roll a insight check, Razzle and Dazzle? Absolutely. I will oh. absolutely insight the should fuck I, out of that. Should I, should I do that as well? Sure. Well, you didn't see the previous interaction, so no. Oh, okay. So, uh, Razzle, 
You get the sense that she was talking slowly on purpose for some reason. Yes. <laughs> she thinks we're dumb. <laughs> oh, I'm going to uh, have uh, uh, have um, Tilda and Beth uh, come in at the stage. Yes. Uh yes. Uh, I'm going to uh, then like uh, say signal for them to uh, to come over as well, and then I'll turn back to uh, uh, Sathana. And we brought a few other members of the guild along as well. You know, it's just for a bit of extra backup. And I indicate the giant badger with the halfling and the uh, and the, the the monk lady. Okay, let's see. I'm just checking something real quick. So where's the music coming from? Like, is there a band playing? Yeah, let's just say there's a band playing. Okay, um, yeah, she kind of looks over at the two. It's very nice to meet both of you. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Derek can't help but stifle a little bit of a chuckle at the, at the slow nature uh, of, um, what's her name? In so then, uh, her uh, character sheet should be in the NPC journal. Yeah, I see it. Quest givers, there she is. Yeah, under <laughs> quest givers. <laughs> uh, yep. Okay, so she's going to essentially tell you guys that, um, okay, I'll just say it. Um, Okay, she's mostly going to be talking to Zarek. <laughs> right. Uh, Zarek gets a worried look on his face. <laughs> so. As, as she turns to him. So, uh, gnolls usually travel in packs near the forest of, uh, a little north of Riska. Have you guys been there? I don't think we have, no. We do have, um, but I have not. I've read about it, though. Okay, okay, that's fine. Um, so point of order. They usually hunt at night. Uh, again, they hunt in packs. Be very careful because they usually have hyenas with them. Um, I need you to bring me back one alive. I need it for study. Um, I think that's about it. The stronger you can find, the better, but any null will do. What kind of things do you study with them? Roll, May I ask why you need one? Roll a persuasion check. Okay. Me or, or both of you, since you both asked. Okay. So she kind of she kind of she kind of ignores Razzle and um <laughs> looks at Zarek. Oh well, I love to study monsters and how they interact and how they change. I usually like to try spells on certain ones to see how they react. Mostly form changing spells, like maybe polymorph or things like that. It does take a it it does take me a lot of money to afford polymorph scrolls, but it's worth it for the for study. Derek's eyes widen as as he sees how studious she is, and he's like, "Oh, oh that's that's quite interesting. That's." I I I never known someone to be so interested by pursuit of uh studying monsters. I know it's so rare to find anyone that is actually looking to higher education. I know it's 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 uh it's it's a dangerous task, I must admit. And, uh, this is even just for a null, that's not easy, especially if you're asking for one that is stronger. That's that's true, but I am willing to take that risk in the pursuit of knowledge. You're not the one taking the risk. We are. Well, you know, part of the pursuit of knowledge <laughs> is hiring people that can get what you what get you what you want. Zara just kind of sighs with a defeated look. <laughs> if I could do it myself, then I would. That's why I hired you. Uh, I, I suppose that, that that is a good point. Well, we just happen to be some of the best from the whole guild, and I like crack my fingers and kind of smile. Uh. Derek just looks even more defeated as he buries his face in the table. <laughs> she she looks at the rest of you. Do you guys have any other questions? Yes. Uh, I'm Why going to... are you talking to me like this? I'm oh. not deaf or stupid. <laughs> I, oh, God. Um... I understand that you are not deaf. Razzle's just gonna like, ra Razzle's just gonna like, uh, like, like, put a hand on Dazzle's shoulder and just sort of be like, you know, kind of even just go. It's okay, but uh, I, I, I think I can take this from here. You can head outside for the rest. <laughs> right. Is there an empty mug on the table? Uh, I'm drunk. Yeah, I think Ra I think um, 
Razzle brought an, a mug of ale. I brought two. One for me, one for Okay, Razzle, have you finished yours? Uh, yes. I'll take it, I'll say, I'll take this back for you, and I want to walk over here, but I want to roll perception to see what's going on with the light in the ring. Okay. It's pretty easy. Uh, you see a lizard man, a tabaxi, and a half-orc just battling it out. They seem to be pretty evenly matched at the moment. They do seem pretty strong. Okay, I'm going to let them finish their conversation and wait here. All right. Uh... Has uh, has Sathana finished her uh, uh, the ale that I put in front? Uh, well, she already had her own mug of ale, so she didn't really touch the one you brought. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'll I'll look at it. I'll look up at her and just be like, "Well, thank you very much for your vote of confidence, Miss Sathana. Um, hope you don't mind, but uh, are you going to finish that? Oh no, you go right ahead. Thank you very much. And I'll pick it up and I'll take uh, Zarek by the arm and be like, well, I think we'll be going now. And I like heave him towards the door. Wait, ho hold on. <laughs> and Zarek just gets pulled out. Let's <laughs> do this payback from earlier. And I like keep drinking and keep pulling him along. <laughs> Gentlemen, do you want to see me tempt fate? Oh my god. Oh, fuck. Don't do it. You guys are out of the fire, right? We're already done with our business. Razzle, Razzle looks over to Dazzle and just like gives him a look that says do anything and I will fucking kill you. Yeah, you know, if you go by hyenas, you can go by Razzle, you know, I think Razzle will heal quickly. I want to roll sleight of hand to fill the mug with the tankard that's on the end of the bar, hoping my short size and hiding behind the barrel will hopefully help. Roll sleight of hand. Okay, sleight of hand. Here we go. Don't do it. Oh my god, I hate you. <laughs> I hate you so much. This is what happens when you tempt the fate. Zarek just kind of moves. Halfling look, halfling look, halfling look. He's do, like, you, yeah, do, you, he's do, you, do you want to use your luck on this? When you roll a one, oh, oh wait, ability check or saving throw. You can re-roll the die, but must take, you know what? I literally cannot do worse. Like, is this a, like, is, another natural one. yeah, question, is this, like, a thing that you can only use once, or is it just a thing you can do? You can do it infinite times. Okay, cool. DM Ninja, thank you. You can use luck if you want. Uh, well, I mean, it literally can't be any worse, so I'm gonna try it. I'm do it. Okay. That's better. That is better. <laughs> Let, Let me, me just roll a d20 to see if this guy notices. Oh, Christ. Oh no! He sees you. He sees you. Now how much for the ale? Let me roll persuasion. He. <laughs> Please go back to the. I, I want you to roll a deception because you're pretending that you weren't about to steal. Deception. Okay. He he. Oh, that's better. That's he, way better. He looks at you. Oh, it's just one copper piece. I throw him the copper and run out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Razzle is going to just like watch. Razzle's been watching the whole thing from this table. He watches Dazzle do it, bluff his way out of it, and then just like his head and eyes follow him as he leaves the bar. <laughs> he just goes. Half the mug is spilled on Razzle as he was running. <laughs> it's like on the top half. I, I just go like. It's 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 funny. I didn't realize you were going for the ale. I thought you were gonna try and enter the fight pit. I was like, oh no. I thought you were too. Yeah, instead. me. Yeah, little old Razzle gets the half Yeah, no. I was like, oh no. This no, don't, don't. <laughs> okay. Uh, as soon as we enter outside, uh, I'm going to uh, finish off the ale, put down the mug next to the door, and just go. Well, what an unbelievably unpleasant woman. <laughs> I don't know. She seemed quite nice to me. I turned to, yeah. uh, to Zarek. You really don't know how to read people, do you? No. <laughs> and I down the rest of the ale and put the mug next door. Let me, Z Zarek, Zarek, let me, let, let me try and break it down as best as I can for you. She was nice to you because you're uh, a smart guy, right? And, you know, you know, you're... Is he dressed kind of smartly? Yeah, he's, he's just like a wizard. Okay. 
I sort of like gesture to, uh, to to all of them, and I'm just sort of like, you know, I mean, I look at you, you know, you're 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 dressed smartly, you know, you clean up very nice, you know. She obviously took one look at you and thought, oh, an intellectual, somebody who's on my level. She spoke to to, to me and uh, and Dazzle and Beth and Tilda like, you know, we d- didn't know that rain fell out of the sky. <laughs> oh okay like I said two or three more days of us you'll get it and I pat him on the shoulder and I say, oh. real quick does anyone real quick out of curiosity do you have some idea of the bouncing around you and it? does anyone here have a sweet potion or anything maybe copious amounts of alcohol to knock someone out I've got a potion of healing but I don't think that will do anything I have uh, uh... Bottle. No, be more unconsciousness asleep anything I don't what about you, Zarek? Do you have anything that could put you to sleep? I, I, I belong to the school of conjuring. I perhaps maybe uh, conjure a rock above his head and knock him out. That's the best you've got? Uh, well, the only thing I, I have is he pulls out the white powder. Uh, this, but um, I, I, I don't know. Uh, it's something we confiscated from the gnome's lab. It's a, it's a hallucinogen, but I don't know what kind of effect it would have on a gnome. Tilda know, looks at him. What is that called? Uh, uh, I can't remember, to be honest. All I know is it's, it's a white powder that... Do you actually not remember, or...? No, I actually don't remember. Okay, you would, you're, you're a smart guy. You remember it's wicker dust. It, uh, it's, it's called Wicker Dust, I believe. Um, I, I took it because I wanted to see if I could study more of its properties. You made it with your wish. Will you say we lace some She didn't know what that is. Let's see Never mind. Lace, lace some cocaine in the steak and just see what happens. Are you guys gonna put. <laughs> not a bad idea. You guys are gonna put Wicker Dust in the meat? Yeah. Okay. But, right. No, but the, but but you didn't let me finish. When the gnome was under the influence of it, he went into a mad rage. There's no telling what it could do to a gnome. Oh. Oh, well, in that case, let's not do that. Yes, I I I'd, I'd, ra- I'd rather not. <laughs> he, 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 he stows away the wicker dust. Although, um, then, 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 like, I, I I I do I do know sleep though. It's in my spell book right now. I asked you if you know how to put people to sleep. You suggest the rock idea, and then tell me you know. Sleep. Well, I I mean, in the, with, with the with, with the sleep, it I can only do it once, and if I fail, then well, we're kind of out of luck. Well, That's still a viable what, option, you, though. Here's the deal: is I know feathers all, but the way I see it, you find a gnome, lure him away. You, you I cast feather fall on him, and you cast sleep. He'll fall without making any noise, and you have rope. I'm pretty sure I have rope. Uh, uh, most of you guys, guys should have rope. Okay. We also I, have don't. Our, I uh, don't have rope. Uh, do I? Uh, hold on. Let me see. Check. I have an entertainer's pack, but I don't think that like has rope. <laughs> yeah, if you click on the little... um, There's a little thing that'll tell you what's in it. Hold on. I just uh, realized, perhaps with Tilda being under the training of the guildmaster, that perhaps talking about Wicker Dust was not my smartest idea. Here, look oh, she, she doesn't work for the guildmaster, she works for another master. Yeah, she doesn't yeah, work for- like, she, 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 she seems like to be the type of person to tell the Silver Scales about it. Yeah, luckily- well, It's not like we're doing anything intrinsically wrong with it. I mean, we were this just- does, it. This is a very highly legal drug, so- yeah, but yeah, I know, but like you confiscated it off a bad guy. Are you guys saying all this out loud? Yes. Yes. Okay. I am. <laughs> <laughs> not not loud, not loudly, but under our breaths, I guess. Walking faster. <laughs> <laughs> are 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 you trying Walking to say? Faster? Are you guys trying to say this under your breath, kind of like not having her here? Um, I'm not. Here's what I'm saying. I say we stop by the market and just grab Kiki. Uh, 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 answer this question first. Huh. Are you? No, I, 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 I was talking in a normal voice. Okay. Uh, so was I. All right, good to know. Anyway, what are you guys doing? 
I agree with the plan that we go and get a length of rope. Okay. All right, you guys, uh, I'll say you guys can go back and find a general store where you can buy some rope. Let me see what 50 feet of rope would be. It is pretty catchy. I like it. Like, well, I... <laughs> when I, uh, when I found it, I was like, this sounds like something that would you know, be fitting for a, essentially a fight bar. Fight club. Better than drop kick burpees. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 50 feet of hemp and robe. Cost one gold piece. Oh, great. Maybe we can do that. Yeah. All right, so, so who all's getting... You guys can add 50 feet of rope from your inventory, everyone who wants one, and just subtract one gold. Great. So That's I'm... a better idea. I will also purchase some rope. Um, he said, he said it's one. One gold. One gold, one gold for fifty okay. feet of rope. Uh, right. Kishi, I don't. I don't Kishi, I also don't like the way you were talking about how how I was talk about. You know, well, I'll remember that later. Worry. Don't <laughs> worry, I'll cool. come back later. I don't like you talking about drugs. <laughs> we can <laughs> we can die later. Right now, we gotta die trying to find. Well, you know, talking about illegal substances in front of a lawful good character, nothing can go wrong. Yeah, but I mean, like, we took them off a bad guy, and we're not bad guys. Yeah, that's, that's... Oh, okay, so what are you guys doing? I'm leading the group Riska, that's where we're going, that's where I was going. Okay, so you guys are heading to Riska. Heading to Riska. Okay. How much is the weight of the rope, by the way? Uh, I'm, I, don't, I don't care about weight. Yeah. Don't worry about it. All right, okay, I'll just put all these rocks in my bag. Yeah, <laughs> I'll I'll only really care about care about weight if it's just something really heavy. I put a carry in my bag. Okay. Yeah, en encumbrance <laughs> is just. <laughs> yeah, Gary, they're going to Riska. All right, let me move you to the. I guess the. Oh fuck! What what did you do? I didn't do As... anything. Well, I guess, uh, sort of, uh, as we're, as we're walking to Riska, um, question for the DM, since, like, uh, Razzle and Dazzle are, like, are, like, best friends, have, um, have, would we have been to, to Riska? Um, I believe Dazzle is from Riska, or is it Razzle? Yeah, Dazzle's from Riska, Riska, so Razzle would have at least been there before. Yeah. At least in passing. Yeah. Got Yep. So, uh... I'll lean down. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'll lean down sort of uh, next to, uh, to Dazzle sort of as we start to, to, to walk. And I'm like, we should be fun, eh? Going back to your old uh, homestead. Yeah, it should. We can talk to the folks and see what's going on over there. Oh, yeah, it'll be lovely. Yeah, it will. So, you guys are going to be traveling on foot to Riska. It takes about... It's gonna take about two days. Mm -hmm. So you guys are walking. You guys are free to, you know, talk and do whatever. Uh, I'd like to talk to Tilda. Okay. <laughs> what do you say? All right. Uh, um, I'll I'll sort of like pull up next to her and just be like, uh, uh so tell me, uh, Miss Tilda, um, where do you come from? Oh, I come from the seas. Uh, my temple, it's on top of a giant turtle. On top of a ju- Razzle's, like, eyes just sort of go wild. Uh, wide, excuse me. It's just like, there's a temple in the sea on top of a turtle? Yes. Yes, there is. <laughs> that is so cool. I know! Can you, like, yeah, like, like run, across, uh, run across water? Can you, like, punch through water so hard that somebody on the other side of the world can feel it? No, unfortunately, that's a different, uh, a different school. I'm unable to do things like that. Oh. Tilda's the monk, right? Yes. Okay. Um, Zarek interrupts. Um, Tilda, I, I, I know that, you know, what I have in my possession is wrong, but, uh, would, would you mind please not telling Guildmaster of Splatman Scales? I... I, I have good intentions with this. I don't want to, you know, reverse engineer it. I just want to study it more, you know, see. 
what I can do with it. Roll, roll a persuasion. Roll yeah. Oh, God. Can I assist him, actually, just by being like, I've known him a very long time. A day, actually. And I can tell you he's not that bad of a... Ah, uh, he was the only one talking, so... Alright, okay. That's okay. Okay, um, why is it coming out? Oh, because I have it on my other... Oh, crap. <laughs> Shut up. Tells you just kind of smiles and, and continues to walk. Uh, <laughs> Zarek looks like he's about to cry. I pat Zarek oh, on the shoulder. Yeah, I'm, like, I I was like, oh, come on. It's okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm doing the exact same thing. We're both like, I'm patting his shoulder. I'm, like, I'm going to jail. <laughs> no, don't worry. Only you're going to jail. You're the one with the drugs. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. It's okay. It's That's okay. all. I, I, get, I get off the loot and I start playing him a song. Uh, Roll a performance okay. check. Well, <laughs> we're good at this. You're, yes. you're, you're, you're still upset, but at least the music doesn't sound so bad. As we're walking, I'll take out my lyre and just start playing a merry song as we go. Okay. So you guys are walking along. Let's see. <laughs> I'm going to jail. I'd say it's about it's about the afternoon by the time you. Get... It was morning when you start. Yeah, I'd say it's about the afternoon when you get here. Um, so you're walking along and come come to a crossroads. One path leads to Prawns and the other leads to Riska. You see there seems to be a covered wagon and three men around it coming down uh, down the path, coming from Prawns. Perception, see if they look shady. I'll, I'll perception them as well. I, I will as well. Perception. Tell me what I see. I channel the dawn. Um, so Zarek and Dazzle can't really see that well from where you are. However, Razzle, uh, you're able to see that these are, um, I guess you could call them towns guards or, or sort of a militia from Kranz, uh, walking along. I'd sort of elbow Dazzle and just be like, <laughs> Oh, don't worry, they're not here for you. It looks like they've already got a prisoner. I'm just gonna move you here real quick. Trust, <laughs> us, we're not, trust us, we're not that fast with delivering our news. <laughs> yeah, that's really weird, I've noticed that too. And there's this like weird person who like always pops up every now and again and is always like, blah, 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 It's me! Doesn't, Doesn't exist! exist. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's uh, people. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so. I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw Peanut, I thought it was a turkey with the tail. <laughs> at first. And then I switched it. Beware the ranger with the giant turkey. He'd be a bad deal. Okay, so. Guards are approaching. You guys doing anything? Uh, I'll. I'll, I'll do, do we ignore them and walk away? Or? Unless you want to ask them something. No, I'm good. Let's just keep on going. Actually, I do want to ask him something. Uh, <laughs> what? No, I'm asking him what I think the pixie he told us. Derek just kind of immediately lets uh, Dazzle go ahead and ask him. So you're gonna go up with Dazzle. So you're gonna approach? Yeah, just walk on up to them, looking as uh, nonchalant and non-threatening as possible. Okay. Uh, the guards is gonna look at you guys. Please kindly get out of the road. Uh, oh, apologies, there, sirs, and I stand aside. Uh, and sort of like looking. See any gnolls around? Or looking for one. Gnolls? Uh, they're generally in the forest north of uh, Riska. Why do you want to go? F why are you looking for gnolls? We're on a mission. All right, fair enough. Some guy. <laughs> also, question: If you were to turn someone into such a drugs, what would your board be? I get. I. I. He. He gets as far as also if he were going to, and then. Like, Claps a hand over his mouth and pulls his into the air. <laughs> Thank you very much, sirs. We'll be seeing you later. And I pull him away. <laughs> Play with that if you want to. I want you guys to all roll perception checks again. All right. I think I know where, I think I know where this is going. God damn, I'm seeing everything today. I am seeing nothing. I... Uh, Again, 
Razzle is able to see pretty well. Dazzle, kind of a little bit, but not much. Um, Zarek just has his head down on the ground looking sad so he doesn't notice anything. <laughs> uh, Razzle, you managed to get a peek through a seam in the covering on the wagon. Uh, you see a glint of kind of a magical aura from what seem to be manacles and cuffs. Uh, you can't quite tell who's inside from where you are. But you see that something or someone is being held in a cage. Uh, as as you guys let it, are you letting it pass? Uh, I'll sort of stay where I am just to see if I can see through the uh, the, the back grate. Okay, so uh, who's in the cage? Okay, so you're you're letting it pass. Um, yes. There is no back grate. That's just a token. Um, oh. So you let it pass. You see a black feather. Uh, a back. A black feather <laughs> slip out from under the covering and kind of flutter to the ground. Yeah. Razzle sort of like, still holding Dazzle with one hand and still like keeping him quiet, picks up the feather off the ground and sort of just like, hmm. sort of puts it in his pouch for later. Yeah. The wagon goes by. No incident. I'll move you guys back to the, the normal map. Alrighty. <clears throat> well, we're not dead. No, not no, dead. I said I yeah. Wonder what who did. The guy in the cage. Really being detained. Don't know. Well, yeah, I guess you do. You're God. <laughs> you keep your secrets. <laughs> Fine. Keep your secrets. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, moving on. Uh, you guys are about well, about halfway, a little, a little less than halfway to Riska, roughly. Uh, it looks like the sun is setting. Uh, Razzle is still playing like a merry sort of like uh, he's gone from playing like a merry song to like more of like kind of a slow jam kind of song as the uh, as the day gets a bit short, uh, shorter. Are you guys going to um, bed down for the night, or are you going to try and? push through exhaustion and go to Riska. Nah, we're sleeping. I, I don't see the benefit of going up against a hiking up being exhausted. Yeah, probably not. Depends on what time of bed is. Okay, so you guys bed down for the night. Um, anyone have anything for camping, like bedrolls or anything like that? I've got a bedroll. Wait, uh, let me check. Nope. <laughs> okay. So you guys just start setting up your areas to sleep in, kind of nestled off the path a little bit, but not too far from the path, just so you're not, you know, in the road. Um, as you guys finish setting up camp, uh, you see an old man uh, coming from down the road. Uh, it seems like he was coming from the direction of, you know, Riska, Stragmore, that direction. Uh, he has long gray hair, dull blue robes. Uh, he walks with a walking stick as tall as he is. He he kind of cackles as he spot you. Travelers, hello, hello, hello. I have a question for all of you. Oh, we may have an answer there, good sir. How can we help you? Okay, you get one guess. I want you to solve a riddle. <gasps> I looked at, at, at to Zarek. You're smart. Are you any good with riddles? Um, I've I read a lot about riddles. Um, history check? It's in a history check. Uh, should I do it? I don't know. This is just if you... This is just if you know the answer to a riddle. Oh, okay. I mean, even if it was a check, I think it'd be easy to explain the instruction. You get one guess. What has four wheels and flies? I'm you guys can talk. Up. You guys can talk amongst yourselves first. <sighs> I've I've not heard this riddle one. I sort of like. So, uh, uh, I'm just gonna be like huddle group huddle, and I sort of like call everybody, including Peanut, over to like sort of bunch in. Yeah, everyone yeah, kind of group huddles. Especially Peanut. Especially Peanut. Okay, so, 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 hear me out on this one. A carriage with wings. What has four wheels and flies? Is the riddle. I, I, I don't think that's the right answer. <laughs> I don't know. Four wheels and flies. It has four wheels and flies. I'm 
certainly not tried to get his teeth. Don't <laughs> cheat. I'm don't. Literally don't. Not, I'm literally no, not. Come on, man. Come on. I'm just joking. I'm not going to do that. I'm just joking. Okay. Four wheels and flies. I, I'm not going to lie. I got nothing, and I feel like it's one of those answers where I'm going to face palm as soon as I hear it. <laughs> I, uh, uh, Razzle's gonna sort of, like, turn his head, like, out from the group huddle and look at the old man. Do we get something if we win? Maybe? Oh, all right, then. And I turn back to the group. Flying carriage. I still think that's our best bet. <laughs> I mean, I don't have any other answer, so... I turn to, uh... uh... Can I roll an intelligence check to get a clue? No. Oh, damn. Damn, all right. Can I roll an intelligence check to get the answer? No. You can make it. You guys can make a guess. It's a one guess each. It's one answer? guess for all I'm... of you. Oh, okay, uh, one total guess. The only two mm -hmm. answers I can think of is Razzle's or literally nothing. Like the answer being nothing. That's not. That would be the worst riddle. And you think a carriage with wings sounds better? I'm just saying, if it's a riddle, it has an answer. He literally. It could be a trick question. It could be a trick question, though. Zarek, I gotta level with you. If he tells us, oh, there is no answer because no such thing exists, I'm gonna take psychic damage from the cringe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, it's uh, gotta uh, be he's... something. Four wheels. He said four wheels, like the circular, like on a car, and flies. Uh huh. Okay, maybe it's not a vehicle at all. Maybe there's some kind of creature. Four wheels. I can't think of any creature in the whole world that has four wheels on it. I don't know if any, wait, wait, know wait, if any wait, creature wait, that wait, has wait, wheels. Wait, 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 guys. We saw that bird in the wagon. Is that it? That the bird, it could fly, and it's in the wagon with wheels? A bird, in a, a, a bird in a car car carriage? Yes. The, the prison wagon we just passed not too long ago. I, I, I it's know. the only other answer. I... I look at um, uh, at Beth, Tilda, uh, and Keynote. Uh, do you guys uh, have any idea what it might be? They kind of look at each other. Uh, Tilda, I'm going to see if she can make just a general intelligence check. Come on, girl. Use that source for supreme knowledge. No, she got nothing. Uh, let's see about yeah. Beth. And you guys will see why she was talking slow to Beth. Oh, right. God. Oh, Wait, God. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Does Beth actually... Really? Yeah. Holy shit, okay. <laughs> so Now they, I just feel bad. They got nothing. They don't know. Uh, so I kind of like look through... Not say. Okay. Uh, no, Jim, Razzle takes out his Jim. Like, what, 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 okay, what if you gave your answer to Peanut? Wouldn't he have to... No, I was so, that's, to that's not how that works. Yeah, it's a, it's a joke asking what Keenan thinks the answer is. Because it's a fucking badger. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, a badger could be smarter than Beth, I feel like. I am not about to argue with that a badger. <laughs> Razzle, Razzle, however, in earnest, looks at Peanut and goes, Do you know what it is? Mm. <laughs> I had I actually had to check the intelligence score. Peanut go. Uh, <laughs> that that's hilarious. It actually has an intelligence score of minus four. Oh my god! Badger kind of like he can't talk. He's a badger. He hears badger moan and that's that's why he's worried. The answer is no. Don't insult the badger. So, I mean, if, if we get it wrong, if we get it wrong, we we get it wrong. If we get it wrong, we can just kill this old. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, 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 no. Razzle, Razzle, I put this on. I have people. drugs and I kill people. No, you do. No, we don't kill anybody. No, we don't do that. I'm sorry, I mean, I'm, I'm panicking. panicking. No senseless murder. If a guild member just killed someone. Uh, unless anybody has better ideas, I mean, I'll admit it's kind of funky, but I mean, the bird in the wagon. Well, you came up with the idea, idea, so. Well, you came up with it, so why don't you say it? Okay, does anyone have any objections? I... No. Unless you want to go with a flying carriage? I'd say the wagon with the bird person in it, that's what I would say. If nobody has any objections, that's my answer. 
Is that what you guys say? Yeah. Go in once. Go in twice. Go would I walk up to him and say, the carriage with the bird prisoner? <laughs> he starts cackling. And he goes, wrong! It's a garbage wagon with flies around it and his body bursts open in a puff of smoke and Sturges fly out from him. All of you guys roll initiative. Oh shit. Where's Sturges? Well, you're about to, you're garbage about to... cat. Oh fuck nuts! Oh, yeah, just uh, just go ahead and roll. I'll add you guys to the wheel. What's the worst that can happen? If we just get it wrong, we get it wrong. Roll initiative, what? Uh, <laughs> I was yeah, expecting I mean, something like this to happen. Initiative is in the middle of top underneath the advantage. Oh, okay. Next. Yeah. Oh, jeez. It feels good to roll initiative Sarah's and add. Killer, but... he wants blood. <laughs> God damn. We gotta kill him. We gotta kill him. <laughs> so it was some crackhead answers that we never would have gotten. I feel slightly better about that now. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy cat lady has been with us. Okay, oh, yeah, and let me, let me let me put on some uh some music. Hold on, some fight music. Yeah, them them fighting words. Durgan. <laughs> Umber, look at the chat. Where? In, In Discord. Discord. Oh God. Oh, is this, is, is, oh is this your God. first time playing D&D? &D? Yes. Oh, cool, alright. Well, yeah. His first, first campaign. First campaign. Okay, cool. Initiative for... Welcome to the bloodbath, friend. <laughs> Ooh! Go Beth! Oh, my oh God. shit. Okay. That's for Beth, apparently. Thank yeah, that's, that's for Beth. Uh, let me roll for Peanut. Ten for peanut. And now for Tilda. Four for Tilda. Still the slow as hell. And let me put let me plant some sturges onto the field. You know, I'm about ready to just throw these drugs away. <laughs> <laughs> no, we need to keep the drugs for science. Uh, Oh my god, that's a big ass sturge. That's a big ass sturge. It's not a giant sturge. Oh, it's only as big as that Is it did you say just one per, per, poof from his body or Oh no. A few. Five yeah. poof from his body. Oh my god. Sully. Now, uh sturges from what you are looking at are basically mosquitoes the size of cats. Oh my god. Yeah. They're 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 fun. How far how far was away how far away was the man when he uh poofed into the sturge? Like how far is the sturge away from us right now? Uh they're pretty much Right up against us? Yeah, kind of. Uh Okay. Let me let me uh roll initiative for the sturges. I'll just roll a group initiative, that'll be fine. Wait, so that's so oh. the the 24 wasn't for the Sturges. No, no. That was for Beth. Okay. No, that was for Beth. Yeah, the okay. 24 was for Beth. Don't worry. When you're done rolling initiative, I have a question. Oh, God. Initiative 15 for the Sturges. Get that added? Cool. <laughs> Shut up! What's the reward on turning into a I wouldn't have actually done that. Okay. I know, I know. Sturges added to initiative order. Uh, you said you had a question? Yes. When it You said with the conjuring um, that I can conjure anything that's within three feet by three feet. Mm -hmm. um, how far away can I conjure it from me? Does it have a range on the thing? Oh, you, I, I, I couldn't find the just conjuring an item in the school of conjuring. For, you do... for now, we'll just say like right in front of you. Um, until I, like, I, I look into you, it. I remember you said I could do it infinitely, but only once every hour. 
Yeah, it should be in your sheet. Like the minor conjuration thing? Yeah. So you can use your action to conjure an inanimate object in your hand. I know what I'm thinking. Or in a space within you that is within 10 feet. Yep. Well, does it say 10 feet? I think he's reading it right now. I, I don't yeah. know where minor conjuring is. Let's see it. Your stu it should be under core. Yeah, it's under your core. Like, f on the uh, right-hand side, where you have, like, a lot of your features and traits. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay. Oh, crap. Never mind, he did it. Alright, so, you said there's one pretty close to me, right? Yeah, I'd say, I'd say all of you have one next to you. Okay. Um, I use... Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, well, actually, uh, you you don't do anything because it's not your turn. It's Beth's turn. Oh, that's right. Beth got the highest roll. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Let me see. What's what's Beth gonna do? Uh. Yeah. Sure. She'll go with a uh, a club. The. The bonk. A oh, bonk. Dang. For one damage. Oh, dang. It's alright, these things are pretty weak. Alright, that's Beth's turn. Now it's your turn, Zarek. I turn to one, and I use Shocking Grasp on it. Uh, give me one sec. Is that a Four. spell? It is a cantrip. Oh, cantrip, cool. Cool, cool, yeah. cool. Uh, Shocking Grasp. Ooh, Let's see, 10. It, it does not hit. They kind of and buzz they're around. Tiny. They're, teeny, tiny. they're not tiny. They're just oh. kind of agile. Well, they're rat size, so rat size. About cat I, size. I, I, I then cat decide size. to... Uh, are we surrounded? Can we not move away from them? You can move, but you'd provoke an attack of opportunity. Oh, yeah, um... Shoot. Actually, yeah, let me move you guys to just a general battle map. That'll be fine. Give me a second. So I can get some idea of where, what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I'll move you over to this one. Give me a second. We'll get rid of these guys. Let's see, I'm going to say you're here. You guys were all relative... Well, Razzle was kind of out front because he was talking to the guy. So, put you guys... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, let me let me plant the Sturges here. I think I had... What was it? Five Sturges? I think so. Kind of like that, and one of these, that would be this one, it has one health point missing. Okay. Should be good um, now. I think I'll stay where I am. Nothing okay. else I can do. Okay. Without provoking an attack of opportunity, I'd rather not risk it. Well, let me see, know. how far away are you? Well, no, we only have one next to each of us. Yeah, but... like, you're you're actually out of the immediate range, so you can move. Oh, I am? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, then I will take a long, long, long step back. Do you guys still see the turn order? Yes. Okay. Okay. So that you're, uh... I'm, I'm done with my turn, yep. Okay, I'll just re-add them to the turn order. And I had a 15. 
All right. Oh, no, there he is. So that was your turn. So now it's the Sturgis' turn. Oh, no. Eep. Yeah, Eep. Uh, so we're going to go with this one first. It's going to try and uh, attack you. Does a 10 hit your armor class? It does not, but my AC is 14. Okay. That one didn't hit. Oh. The next one's going to try and hit. That one hits. <laughs> Miss me with that. Ah! So that's seven damage to you, and you now have a Sturge attached to you. Okay, okay. Get it off. Let's see. This one, yeah, it's going to go for you too, because you're right there. Oh my god. I mean, I mean how fucked am I? What's the worst that could go wrong? Just get a 13, that doesn't up. hit, so that's fine. <sighs> Wait, how many? Oh, Christ, okay. So that one's oh, out of your Christ. range. This one is gonna buzz over to, uh, this tasty little little guy over here. Hit me. Six that does misses. not hit. Yeah. And this no, one is going... Flip it off. Yeah, this one is or gonna go after point. Tilda. 19 does hit, so she takes six damage. Fucking devil. <laughs> Alright, that's the Sturgis turn. Dazzle. Okay, I am going to cast uh, this guy Cure Wounds on myself. It says it's a 1d8 plus my spell modifier, and I'm in the spell. You should be able to just click it from your, your spell sheet. Okay, Cure Wounds. Just click it. Yeah, click it and select your level. Uh, well, I can't should be level 1. Two. Or, yeah, whatever level it is. Whatever your level you're casting it. If do you have second level spell slots? Well, I'm looking at my spells in the character sheet. Wait. Oh, let me let me check your sheet. I got, I, no, 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 I was wrong. It is a level one. That's, That's what I thought. Be. So it's just going to be the six. Okay, just just the six. Yeah. I'll take it. And as a bonus action, I can use. Uh, the six was actually from higher level cast. It's actually nine. That was the regular one. Oh, okay, nine then. It's great to have people. It's great to have people who can actually read these things in the chat. <laughs> yeah. Hey, oh. power of teamwork. Woo. Okay, and inspire is a bonus action, correct? Believe so. I be I need you guys to read your sheets. Okay. Inspire is inspiration. I think it's a bonus action, though. Bardic Inspiration, that's under your uh, traits and features on the core list. Uh, let's yeah, see. It says to do so, you use a bonus action on your turn. Oh, thank you. Sorry about that. Uh, Reading is uh, fundamental. It is. Bardic Inspiration on Zyrick. And I'm going to say for love. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll do my best. And Bardic Inspiration. Yeah. yeah. That's my turn. Okay. So that's going to be Razzle. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Um, but from uh, from where I am to here, um, if I used my Fire Breath, would that hit that Sturge and miss Tilda? Uh, fire, fire Breath, breath is, is in a line, line I think. Mine. No, it's a fi mine. Fire, I believe, is a cone. Does, Does it say cone? cone? It does. Yeah, yes, my, 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 mine is a line because I'm like. Okay, so. Yeah, called, yeah the, uh, the 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 fire thing for me is a fifteen foot cone. Okay, okay hold, hold on. on. And, and you, you said fifteen foot? foot. Fifteen feet. Yes. Okay, okay give, give me a second. second. Okay. Well, how is it, how is so, it spread though? Like this, this is how. how left hold on. Or... Let's see. Fifteen feet. This ah, is this, this is about, about where it'll where it'll land. land. So, it looks, yeah, it doesn't look like it would hit Tilda. Would it hit the Sturge that's next to Tilda? No. It would hit what's in the 
thing, so, so it would, would not, not hit that, I don't believe. Okay, all right. Um, it does. Seem yeah, it, it's, it's just, just out of range. range. Yeah. All right, fuck it. Uh, in that case, I'll just uh, I'll just take up my sword and I'll just try and uh, make a nice sturge kebab and shank it. Okay. Does that hit? That, that does hit. That, that kills, kills it. it. Oh, very nice. Well, well you, you got, got dead things. things. So, so that, that one is... <laughs> Not yet. There we go. That one is dead -o. All right, uh, and then I'm also going to burn uh, Bardic Inspiration, and uh, I'm going to uh, inspire Tilda. Okay. Punch that mosquito in the face! <laughs> <sighs> All right. It's Peanut's turn. Yes. Peanut's gonna, like, roar no, and, and go over here and attack this one. Oh, and it has multi-attack. So it's gonna try and go with the bite attack first. Oh, yeah, that kills it. Yes. I got it. Peanut. Peanut. <laughs> Sturges are allergic, yes! Right, let's see, what's your movement, Peanut? You can move 30 feet, so... Should have 20 feet. Yeah, I can get to this other one and use this other attack. And that one of the Biotex is going to go for a claw attack. That does not hit. Alright, that's Peanut's turn. Next is Tilda. Let me see what Tilda's going to do. Yeah, she'll, she'll go over, uh, you know, help you out. Like, she's just going to kind of She's going to move sort of in between. Yeah, just so she can get in your space, I think. Because well, the... Oh, wait, wait, you... Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah, she's going to... All right, all right. She's going to occupy your space for a minute. She's going to... Nimbleness. Can you post that? Uh, no. You can move through their space, they cannot move through yours. Oh, no. Never mind. Because it's basically you kind of going under their legs, more or less. Yeah, so, I, she she's just I, gonna go for this one first. Uh, let's go for... Yeah, quarter staff. Nope, she does not hit. Oh, wait, hold on. She, uh, she, has, she has inspiration, that's right. And this is for attacks, right? Uh, yes, yes, it is. All right, and that's a D eight. Nope, D. Uh, no, it's a D six. D six. All right, yeah. Let's roll a D six. See if she can hit this thing. Big money, no whammies. That's no, yeah. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Nope, still didn't hit. Shit. Okay. Yep, that's her turn. All right. She can't really reach the other one. Oh wait. The other one is it's attached to you, I believe. Sweet bonus action on arm strike. <laughs> <laughs> Said the monk man. I've been new to monks. All right, she's gonna bonus action on arm strike it. Oh, that, that kill that kills it. I'm I'm gonna say she was thwacking the one that's that was attached to you. Basically. Are you alright? Fair enough. <laughs> Zarek. Alright, um... Keep that inspiration, boy. Let's see. Uh... I... Pull out, uh, uh, with with the inspiration that Dazzle's given me, I take out my uh, light crossbow and okay. I aim it at 
Oh wait, no, I'm not in the right. Hold on a sec. Um, I move over here. Is that within view of this one right here, or? Yeah. Okay. I take out my light crossbow. I aim and I fire. Uh, you have inspiration. You can try and use it. Uh, ro oh, okay. Roll a d6. Roll a d6. Three or over. Three or over. Yep, that hits. <laughs> you are inspired, and you you take aim and fire, and it takes out that sturge. Hooray! <laughs> now it's the sturge's turn. This one is gonna go after Peanut because it's like right there. Let me see what your AC is. Oh, yep, yeah, that hits. Let's see what's your uh, HP, Peanut. He's up, but he's hurt. Oh. All right, that's the Sturgis. Dazzle. Do you, yeah, do you, 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 it should be on your spell slots. Like, make sure you're keeping up with that. Okay. And I'm going to use Cure Wounds again on Peanut. Okay. At level one. And then I'm going to inspire Peanut. I'm gonna ins <laughs> yeah, I'm going to inspire Peanut. Fuck it. Alright. It brings it back up to a decent amount. He, he doesn't look like he's, he, he's still a little hurt, but not as hurt. Razzle. Emerald. Emerald. Sorry, sorry. Mama Comet came into the room. Ah. Okay. Mm. Talking about dirty dancing. Anyways, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run up here, uh, go to this sturge who's attacking Peanut. Am I flanking? Yes. All right. Second verse, same as the first. Take out my sword and just plunge it right into the bastard. Oh, never mind. Ooh, does not hit. <laughs> that doesn't work. It's, it just kind I'll of... save you! Or maybe not. Yeah, nope. Just, uh, Peanut's flinging around a little bit too much trying to get it off of him. Doesn't hit. But it's yeah. Peanut's turn. Peanut's gonna try and bite it. Oh! Yeah! He bite! <laughs> this badger is a fucking tank. <laughs> and it dies. Encounter over. I still have a Sturge uh, sort of like stuck to my sword, and I'm like, hey guys, look, I made a kebab. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Nature check to see if they're edible. Ooh. Um, technically, they're not poisonous, so I'm not sure um, how good they taste, though. Dinner. Nature check oh. to see what Sturge blood could be used for. Uh, give me a sec. My forgetting to find energy. I don't have it placed well. Huh? Sturge blood. Oh, Sturges are kind of like mosquitoes. They they are not really used for much. Oh. But hey, you killed him. Ray. I walk over to uh, to Zarek and sort of like give him a clap on the back. Hey, you see, you didn't do too bad at all. That was a nice yeah. shot you did with your crossbow. Not gonna lie. Well, I I apparently do have a knack for it. I I I, I got some. Fairly good shots off on my first adventure with it. Hmm. Good to know. Yeah, good to know. All right, I get a fire going. I get a sharp stick. I sharpen up my short sword. I put all the sturges on it, like a kebab, and I make a spit joke. Cool. I'll, uh, I'll 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 click my fingers and uh, press to digitate uh, the fire uh, when he when he gets all the kindling. Oh, does that work like that? Hmm. Because oh. I thought, because if you look at it, you create a harmless sensory effect. Because it also, if there was a, like, burning fire that could cook or eat, would that be 
you in you instantaneously light or, or snuff out a candle, a torch, or a small campfire. Oh, never mind. Let's do this. Yeah. Yeah, you can make a campfire. You guys can. Uh, to Beth and Peanut and make sure the Peanut's okay. Yeah, you you see uh you you see Tilda is also over there giving Peanut pats on the head, and uh, let me see, she's gonna use healing hands on Peanut. Oh, she can do that. Okay. Yeah, That's she's. Good tip for healing. <sighs> I'm not complaining. Uh, so that'll bring Peanut back up to full. No, I think he. One thing I think he was at like. Six, no, he was at nine. So yeah, he's good. And his owner's name is Bethy. Beth. Just Beth, okay. Yep. We will be going. I mean, you can call her Bethy if you want. I'm gonna call her Billy, but I'm gonna be shot. <laughs> Maybe. To be fair, we have been taking, quote unquote, some care of her pet. I think her eyes are looking at this. Beth seems to appreciate that you guys are looking after Peanut. Hmm. So, uh, what are you guys doing? You you, you got a fire going. Uh, it's just past sunset, so it's dark now. I'm sort of like just uh, sort of on uh, on the ground, like looking up at the, uh, the bird just cooking. Crackle, 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 crackle. How long is it gonna take? Oh, uh, hold on, phone call. Okay, I touched the stern. Well, me and Master are doing phone call. Uh, God is taking a phone call. God is taking a phone call right now. Child with cancer, please hear me. He's on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> later, later. All right, later. These D and D people need my help. Um. I guess I'll um I'll sort of just like Well you're a bard, like it, it's 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 your job to sing. Yeah. You know, I have a great idea. I sit down. And I'm like, let's get a. What? You cut out. What? I said I have a great idea. Let's get a campfire going. A campfire. Yeah, a campfire. A campfire song like this one, and I take up my lyre. Go, go, go! I think I know where you're going. Let's go. <laughs> I call this one the campfire song song. Let's hear it. Let's gather around the campfire and sing our campfire song. Our C A M P F I R E S O N G song. And if you don't think that we can sing it faster, then you're wrong. But it'll help if you just sing along. Bum, bum. C A M P F I R E S O N G song. C A M P F I R E S O N G song. That we can sing it faster than you're wrong, and it'll help if you just sing along. C A M P F I R E S O N G song. Dazzle! C-A-M-P-F-A-R-E-S-O-N-G song. Derek! Song. Good! Song. It'll help! It'll help! <laughs> if you just sing along! Oh, yeah! Yeah. Derek Cass shocking, shocking touch on himself. Because... <laughs> thank you! Thank you! We'll be here till the end of the adventure. Yeah, that was Terrible fun. week. <laughs> Okay, while uh, we're waiting for the phone call, I'm going to mute and go to the bathroom and get water. I'll be right back. Oh, Imagine please that. tell me that she heard that in the background. <laughs> oh, please. You know, it's on recording. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, I'm going to mute and I guess take this opportunity to use the bathroom if you have to. Bathroom break.
Hello? Is, uh, is anyone there? Oh no, we died. Oh. Okay. <laughs> How you doing, Solim? I'm alive. This is pretty fun to watch, not gonna lie. I, I, I had a mini freak out when I saw that the call was going on there. I'm like, fuck, did we have a session today? Oh, no. wait, it's not my group. Oh, yeah, wrong boys, wrong I, boys. I, I'm I, back. I, yeah, I had a mini heart attack. I was like, oh, no! Nobody informed me! Like, when when Kichi was saying, like, oh, yeah, my, my monastery is on the back of a turtle, I'm like, wait, how did she... Oh, Solar, that rat bastard. You bastard! Giving away, giving away all your character secrets! Jay, why are you here? You, aren't you supposed to be at work? Why do you think he's mute? Uh, yeah, I know he's muted, he's but like... He's his best friend play Dungeons and Dragons. Emerald. Good, sir. I'm back. Hello. Hello, Mr. Obama. Hey, hey. Do you have a follow-up? British, do you have a follow-up to uh, saying my uh, my not name? What? No, because British was just like Emerald, and I'm waiting for what's next. Uh, I, I don't recall. What? Sorry. No, no, no. Just like, just like you, you, you said like uh, Emerald, and I thought you were gonna say something. Else. Oh no, I was saying I was making a joke. That uh, J Fox was watching his best friend play D and D. Oh, never mind. <laughs> so, how you liking the session so far, everybody? Eh, it's uh, pretty fun. Good, 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 better than the horrible, horrible mistake I made that I'm scared of what's gonna happen. So, <laughs> welcome to the oh. first life of being a drug lord, pal. Woo! I wasn't trying to be. He's gonna be Walter White of our session. Say my name. I <laughs> am the danger. Right, I am the one who knocks. I am the one who learns knock. Oh, you're a piece I of see. shit, you know that? I, I see that he's taking lessons from Clyde. Yeah. Dude, I get it. it's nice to see that... Uh, <laughs> it, yeah, it's good to see that Ivan has uh, branched out into different uh, continents. No. I walk over to the fucking thing. You guys want to see me tip bait? No, natural one. <clears throat> I hope I hope that Kichi's game isn't just all references and such. Like I'd like her to have her own world, but it's nice seeing these little nods. It's cool. It is cool. Very cool. I'm not gonna lie though. I'm gonna be kind of bummed if uh, our campfire song song was missed Dude, by the. I... Uh, uh, I, I don't even know. I heard it, and I would have given you guys. Well, she's re she's recording, so I assume that yeah. she'll have it. <laughs> yes. We oh, she'll have, have it. But... That it happened. Whatever she knows about it, it's different. Of course, she knows about the campfire song. Though. Everybody knows about. The I've campfire. never heard that song. Have you ever seen SpongeBob? Um, not that specific episode, probably. One of the best episodes in the series. Are you fucking you know, with we me? Have anime, really? Do we have anime night tonight? We'll fix that. SpongeBob, okay, unless you bring the Japanese sub of SpongeBob, I will not okay, accept. Hey, look, I'll throw silverware down the stairs the whole time they're talking to make it seem sound Japanese. <laughs> That's not okay. <laughs> Everyone's a little bit racist. It sometimes doesn't mean we go around committing hate crimes. Hate crimes. crimes. Coming soon to a medieval record shop near you, Razzle and Dazzle, the Christmas album. Yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like the Into the Spider-Verse Christmas album. Wait, that exists? Well, yeah, you know, they had Peter B. Parker record a bunch of Christmas songs. It was fucking hilarious. Is that a Okay, hang on a second, because I haven't heard this I, yet. I have a feeling you that there's heard Spidey Bells. Oh, yeah, Spidey oh. Bells is quite great. I need to check. Spidey Bells is a... fucking great. I'm unsure if they've done a whole album or not, but I know they've at least done a Spidey very Bells. Spidey Christmas. Yes. Okay, I'm back. Okay, Kichi. Yeah. Back huh? What? 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 Did you hear mine and Irish's performance? 
No, I had you guys uh, through my headphones, okay. so no. That's okay. Did, were you still recording? It's still recording, yeah. Perfect. Okay, great. Then you yeah, will see. I can, I can vouch that their recording. performance was inspiration worthy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You'll you'll see later. Just just trust us. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. Uh. Someone called me to set up an interview at NASA. You're fucking joking. No. Uh, wait, wait. You're gonna work at NASA. You're working I, for the space people now. I'm going to interview for them. Oh, oh well, good shit. luck, sister. <laughs> I'm. That's, that's one. Uh, yeah, I'm getting a little bit of a, you know, an upgrade in my job. Oh, where are you upgrading to? NASA. Funny thing, this is a I, this is a different job. But like, I, I guess I gotta ask, Good you know, hmm? but I, I never really knew. What are your qualifications? I work in IT. I have a security clearance. I'm working on getting my certifications. But, no, uh, but I mean, like, what what did, what did you major in? I guess to understand. Oh, nothing related to IT, foreign language, and international trade. Oh, to be th honestly, hey. international shit might actually help bang you that job. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, honestly, no, yeah, that's true. Like, um, my job is my degree was not a technical degree, but when I started working, I eventually got enough. The just job located. Uh, it's in a place called Edwards. It's about forty minutes out, but. If it pays enough, I'm willing to drive it. Wow. If it pays enough. I yes. Mean, it might not, sure, but I, I, I know what you mean. I, I know what you mean, but I, there's, there's almost a silly, like, voice in my head that assumes that NASA doesn't pay well. <laughs> well, well I mean, you, with, the current, with the budget cuts we've been getting. Yeah, <laughs> you, you honestly never know. Like, companies try yeah. to get employees for as little as they can. That's fair. But, um... Careful what you, careful what you post on Twitter. Oh god, I remember that. Oh yeah, god, so I remember got, that. Yeah, someone got an internship at NASA and told like one of the most respected <laughs> heads of oh, NASA, right. a legend yeah, who goes to her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna mute now. Okay. Uh, any comments so far on how the game's going? Good. It's good. I'm loving it. Okay. Can I like retract? Can I retract everything I've ever done? <laughs> <laughs> No, live with the consequences of your actions. Consequences. Uh, okay, so you guys are uh, you guys are camping, right? Basically, we sang yep. our campfire song. It was super epic. Okay. So, uh, are you guys um, anyone keeping watch, or are you just all going to sleep? I'll take first watch. Okay. I see it. I'll, uh, I'll 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 grab somebody to stay with me. I'll 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 grab Beth to to, to stay up with me and like just chat for the evening. All right, so you got Beth and Peanut to stay up with you. I uh, want you to roll a perception check. I believe I roll with disadvantage because I don't have dark vision. Yes, if you cannot see dark vision, yeah. Oh. Oh, oof, indeed. Get him out of the way now, boys. You are blind as a... Actually, I can't even use that term because bats aren't blind. You are blind. Let me see about... Uh, let me let me try oh, for... Uh, dark in here. Let me try for Peanut. <laughs> he has dark vision, so I'll just... Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Well, yeah, that's what... That's what... Yeah, that's what perception's based on. Uh, uh, okay. So, you guys... Well, you can you can talk or, or do whatever. Yeah, I'll 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 actually strike up a, a conversation with Beth while we're while we're keeping watch quotation marks. Okay. So, do you agree with me that we really shouldn't trust that lady who gave us the job? Beth um looks at you, then looks at Peanut. Peanut doesn't understand what you mean. Well, why don't you tell me? Peanut says that Beth shouldn't talk. Why does Peanut not want Beth to talk? Beth seems like a lovely person. Beth goes quiet. I look at Peanut. Uh, is there a reason that Beth shouldn't talk and you should? No response. Do you agree with me that we shouldn't trust the lady that gave us the job? Beth kind of like looks at Peanut. Peanut says she smells funny. 
Yeah, yeah, she kind of does. Razzle sort of just like, um, he's... <laughs> when the Sturgis were cooked, he took the liberty of skewered it on the end of his rapier. It's like eating it off the sword. And he kind of sits back a little bit and goes, Intelligence is a negative two. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> he kind of leans back. You know, if you're worried that I'm going to say something mean, and that's why you're not talking to me all that much, you, you don't need to worry. Beth is kind of like nibbling on some, some of her own rations. Doesn't seem open to conversation now. Fair enough. I'll um I'll uh, I'll just spend the rest of the uh the, my time awake just sort of uh chewing on the uh the the sturge a little bit and uh, looking around. All right. So you guys continue your watch, not especially paying attention to your surroundings. Uh, but it seems to go fine. Nothing nothing happens. All right. Who do you wake up for the next watch? I'll wake up uh Dazzle. Like, Dazzle, wake up! Wake up! The camp is on fire! The camp is on fire! Wait, 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 wait. Rise, and oh, shine, sleep. Rise and shine, sleepyhead, it's your turn. Uh, okay, I wake up, uh, Zarek. Alright. Uh, I, I go up to Zarek. Zarek. What? 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 Watch, wake up. Fine. Okay, both of you make perception checks. Alright. Perception. My perception uh, is that I suck at perception. Not this time. I don't. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, Zarek is, is super oh. paranoid about. Vi oh yeah. You. If you guys don't have dark vision, it's at disadvantage. So just roll again if you had, don't have dark vision. Uh, where? You, you would show. It, it just. Would, just roll again. again. Okay. 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 Like, like it, it would, would be, be under, under your traits. traits. Uh, you're, you're a dragon so you, you wouldn't, wouldn't have dark vision. vision. Oh. So, so I'd, I'd go, go with that first roll, because that's with the second one. But yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, you're looking around, other than just the hoots and, and howls of, ra of random forest creatures and bugs, you don't really, don't really notice anything. Oh, great. So how long have you been out here? What do you mean, in Slipwood? Well, I mean, only about a few weeks ago, but I I came to Slipwood over a year ago. What brought you here? Nothing particular, just kind of forced to after, you know, my guild was destroyed and I uh, didn't have anywhere to go. Yeah, Dazzle is just kind of looking at him like, oh, nothing, just my entire house burned to the ground and destroyed it. <laughs> yeah. So what did what destroyed it? So I don't know. That's a, it's a question I ask myself often, but I I don't know. It was a bunch of masked individuals, and uh, I I never bothered to get a look at their face as they were throwing spells. So. Oh, that sucks. Quite all right. Kind of. It's kind of awkwardly like. I never socialized with my kids. I never really socialized with my family either. So, to be honest, this is the most socialization I've ever had. Hey, no, I, 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 I abandoned my family. I destroyed. They don't care. They never cared for me, and I honestly never cared for them. Zarek pauses and then just shrugs. Yeah. Anyway, he just goes back to doing his research. Alright, your watch comes to an end. No incident. Next. I guess I wake up to Mom. Tilda? Okay. Yes. Let's see. Tilda wakes up. Is it my turn? No, I just felt like waking up for no reason. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tilda. Zarek, st Zarek stays up with Tilda. Oh no. 
one pack. Matilda is is awake. Are you staying yeah. up? Are you staying up the whole watch or just for a few minutes? Uh, just just for like half the that watch this session. Okay. So crew. Sarah kind of just stares blankly out in the road with uh, Tilda for a, for a moment. Should I? Do we need a roll perception again? Yeah, you're on watch. Okay. Uh. So you you're a little bit too uh, spooked about the concept of going to jail over drugs, to to really pay attention. <laughs> but but Tilda's hmm? go ahead. Tilda's keeping a a decent watch out. After a moment of of uh, a few minutes of silence, she kind of looks at you. Why did you keep them? Well, I my my studious nature has always been one to well study everything i guess it's because you know like yourself i i never really expanded into combat or socializing and well the world itself fascinates me and something that could cause such rage in such a small creature such as the one we met was very fascinating I didn't know at the time they were illegal, but I figured when I picked them up, they had something to do with the concoctions he was making, and I I wanted to see what other uses this powder could provide other than a drug that could cause addiction and hallucinations. I feel maybe there's more potential to it. As any alchemist or apothecary could tell you, something like this could really do much more than one thing. Do I need to roll pers uh, persuasion? What are you persuading her of? Uh, I guess nothing, really. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I'm... You're trying I'm, to convince uh, her that you're telling the truth. Yeah. No, like, she believes you. There's no need to roll anything. But yeah, no, I, 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 I have no ill will, believe me, but I... I didn't turn... I turned in... This was actually one of three, and, well, I... I turned the other two in because I felt it was the right thing to do, because I wanted to keep one to study its properties more, but with it being illegal, there's not really many a place to study such a substance. That is a very dangerous thing to play with. If you are caught with it, they will assume it's, it belongs to you. I'm well aware, and I considered, you know, turning it in many a time, and I'm still sh feeling I should, but I don't know. My, my curious nature just begets me. Is your curiosity worth jail? No. No, I suppose not. Totally. Perhaps some, th some mysteries are better left mis- Tilda gives a nod. Have you ever thought of asking the people you turned it into to see if there's a way to learn about it? No. No, I I suppose not. I uh, I, I I I don't as you know I, I I don't know the right thing to say most times. So well, you seem I wasn't to really sure to ask. You seem to have friends who are adept at talking to people. Maybe they can help you. As it, I suppose, I maybe I can do that when I get back to the guild. Maybe Tilda stands up. You guys, I, I'd say this would be. Nearing towards the middle of the watch, you should get some sleep. Should... Yes. Yeah. He goes over and wakes up Beth with a small shake. Oh, Beth already did a watch. <laughs> oh, uh. It's just Tilda. Oh, okay, it's just. So, wait, what, what about Peanut? Tilda wa up... Peanut was with Beth. Okay. Then Derek goes to sleep and leaves Tilda alone, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Let me see, that's a 16. One second. You guys, you know, uh, just to make sure, there's no one I missed for watch, right? Nope. Okay. No. Alright. You guys, you know, sleep until towards the end. 
Tilda is she she was she was all right so she she's fine with taking the rest of the watch cuz she got enough sleep uh let's see i'd say Zarek. yeah tilda's going to like shake you awake <sighs> what shh, what, shh, what is shh, it shh, shh. Something's here. Wake the others. He nods silently and quietly makes his way over to wake up. Uh, Dazzle, Razzle, and Peanut. And Beth. <laughs> Sorry, forgot <laughs> about her. <laughs> How is it? <laughs> that the freaking badger is so impressive. <laughs> Freaking badger. <laughs> Sorry, peanuts make way more like making an impression on me than It's Jeff so is. badger. <laughs> but it's peanut is far bad. <laughs> See, this is Zarek does a double take and then backtracks and wakes up Peanut. This no, you this, what it is is you wake up Peanut and then Peanut wakes up Beth. <laughs> Razzle's just like Razzle's just like flat on his back like the liar. See, see, this is this this is why she talks through Peanut. No one pays attention to her. Gather around the camp. Maybe she actually did something useful. (laughs) Obviously, I'm not saying that in game, but still. Okay, so Dazzle gets up and he sees Razzle and he squints and he looks up. So Razzle, he grabs his snout, shakes his head back and forth like wait, 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 wait. Mmm! 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 Did we get payback. captured again? No, not this time, but that was payback for earlier. We got trouble. Oh, <laughs> sorry. What's the trouble? Right. Yeah, hold on. Just kind of right, setting some stuff up. Question. Hmm? Does our long rest count, or are we still missing? What you guys we... have had a long rest. Okay, grand. I got my inspirations back. Yeah, you guys reset, reset your stuff while I set up this map. I'll uh, just sort of preemptively take my sword out and drop kind of low to the ground. All right. I'm gold. Thank you. Oh buddy. my god. I think oh I just found. I, I just. I, I think I found the perfect thing to just to capture a bard. Two bards with one picking up the sword and the ready. The other one ready. There you go. Oh god. The one I blast when I post it. What, what the pink luchador? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know how you see me, but I wouldn't have guessed this. And that's our relationship in a nutshell. Yeah, okay, so obviously Razzle is the one with the sword, and I'm chasing after her. I'm like, oh, oh God! You hear... Whoa. Hold you, on a moment. Hold on a uh, second. You hear hushed voices in whispering, as well as the sound of dogs panting. Four bandits, along with three hunting dogs, emerge from the surrounding grass and attack. God. Let me get up the initiative counter. Roll initiative. <laughs> oh. I think we need condoms. Uh. Get him out now. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, dang. Oh god, the rum chata bottle was with them the whole time. <laughs> Run! Save yourself! <laughs> Don't say that. Love means never having to say you're sorry. All right. Initiative has been rolled. Uh, oh, wait. Ha- who hasn't? Each of those thugs are moving individually. Yeah, because I learned how to do that. Uh, did you guys all roll initiative? I yes. did. Oh, that's right. I have to roll for Tilda. Oh, that's right. Okay. I was like, there, I was like, there are people missing. <laughs> I rolled, but I think I forgot to put my token. Oh yeah. Here you go. Uh, if you if you're not on the turn turn order, click your token and roll again, and then add then change it to the original roll. Yeah. Okay. Uh. So yours is unfortunately still 
I know. <laughs> yeah, change that to the one. How do I change it? I'll I'll do it. No thanks. But change your stuff to the return order box on the left. You click the number and you just type it in. Okay. All right, uh, Mr. Dazzle, you're first. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me let me change that. Sorry about that. I I, I clicked it instead of A, but it went back. It's fine. Back. All right. So Razzle. All right. So here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm going to move to about here to face oh. this gentleman. Uh, would you mind giving me the uh the the breath cone thing again, just so I can see if it would hit him and the dog behind him? Okay. Hold on. <clears throat> Say cone. There it is. It's fifteen feet. I'm just getting the measurement right. It's okay. So it's I'm, I'm googling cone. something while you're doing that. I believe that's right. Look, fifteen. Yeah. yeah. We mean to draw. Stop. Stop. This is Russell. I'm gonna give you control over. Here you go, Razzle. Thank you very much. Okay, so. Dee 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 dee. So if I shoot that from me, it's gonna hit. Okay, it'll hit him. Yeah. If you if you um if you hold Alt, you can change it to be off the grid. Okay, great. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'll do that. Uh. So it'll, okay, so it'll hit him, but it won't hit the dog. Yep. Not unless, unless you just kind of... Well, you know, you wouldn't be able to move up. So no. no, no, I wouldn't. I don't want to put myself in that position. Um, I'm going to hold off on that for the moment. And instead, what I am going to do... Uh, let me see this really quick. 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to bust out my new toy here. I'm going to cast Fairy Fire. Fairy Fire? Oh. Uh, yep, so that's a 20 foot cube. Okay, dexterity saving throws. So they can't be invisible if they fail. Okay, and uh, you're affecting just this whole cube over here? That whole cube, so those two bandits, those two dogs. Okay. And the spell save for this is 12. Dex, dex. Oh, it rolled to me, but the first one was a 20 on the bandit, the second one was a 5. Okay, so first one uh, succeeds, second one fails. Okay, and let me get the Mastiff. The Mastiffs. That's a success, that's a fail. Okay. So first, second bandit, it's you. Uh, let's see, what's a good token for that? Yeah, sure. That'll be the token for Fairy Fire. Okay, cool. And the second Masty pass, so this one failed. Alright. Alright. And then I'm going to back the fuck up, and I am going to use one inspiration on uh, Peanut. Uh, you... Where were you? Before? Uh... I, sorry, okay, so uh, at the start of the turn, I was here. Okay. I believe... There's... Yeah, okay. So you were right here? Uh, yeah, at the at the start, I was here. Then I moved here. Okay, yeah, you would have been in melee range of this guy, so he's going to take okay. an attack of opportunity on you. That's all right, go for it. Okay. Oh. Just gonna try and hit you with the scimitar. Does a 13 hit? That just hits. Alright, that's two damage to you before you move. Alright, fair enough. Um, yeah, and then I will, uh, uh I'm still gonna use uh, a point of inspiration on, uh, on Peanut. Peanut! Alright. Peanut's inspired. And I sing, uh, Strangers in the night, they're trying to kill us. They are indeed. Alright, that's your turn? Yep, that's me. Alright, Bandit's turn. It's gonna be this one. Uh, let's see. Can you... Yes, you can. He's gonna go up and try and hit Tilda. Let's 
see. Does a 13 hit you, Tilda? It does not hit. She kind of blocks it and, and, and moves it out of the way. Doesn't hit. Peanut! Uh, this, he's right here, so Peanut's gonna go after this guy. Peanut, sick balls. <laughs> oh, God. He's gonna go for a bite attack. Oh, that yes. hits. Claw yeah, attack. Boy. Oh, my God. So, the bite attack hits, the claw attack does not hit. As inspiration. Oh, that's right. That's right. Let me see. Let me roll the d6. Come on, baby. Come on. Big, num big money, no whammies. Let me see. 14. Yep, that makes it a hit. Ooh. Yes. So yeah. that would be 12 Dead damage. Oh yeah, bandit? that's enough to that's enough to kill the bandit. Dead bandit. Dead bandit. You picked the wrong squad, fool. You're with the wrong house, fool. All right. Yeah, he gets it. Tilda's gonna go up to. She don't want. She don't want to hurt the dog. She's gonna go up to this bandit. <laughs> I was like, says the people who were fawning over the badger. So, yeah, she's gonna go with... Quarter stabbed. Oh, that's normal. But the first one was a 24, so that hits. And unarmed strike. So that's nine damage to this guy. Wow. He He's still standing, but he's hurting. Doggo turn. Uh, let me see. Fairy fire just means they can't go invisible, I think. It does, yes. And okay. also attacks on have uh, advantage. But, as long, but only as long as they... I, I think it's only as long as they stay with Q. Okay. Let me find a... Let me, let me draw a cube real quick so I remember where it is. So it says object and effect features. It, it says nothing about them having to stay in the cube. Oh, does it not? So once they're stained, they're stained. Oh, okay. Okay. They also give off light. Faint they got, light. They got pixie dust all around them. <laughs> and canonically, this makes sense because this is like probably I don't know, like satyr residue or something. Yeah, it's fucking satyr juice. <laughs> uh -huh. Don't ask questions you don't want to know the answer to. Ah, uh, that's right. <sighs> All right. Well, he's gonna run up to the 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 smell of satyr. Hit me, or don't. Let's see. Where are you? There it is. He's gonna try and bite you. He Ow! Missed. Ah, he missed. Bandit. He's a slow dog. Alright, he's gonna go after... I guess he'll go after you. Oh, why? Because you're there. Lovely, lovely weather we're having. He miss. Miss me with that shit. Next bandit. He's gonna go after... Magic Boy. Ah! 19. Ah. So that's 5 damage to well, you. That half your health? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just kind of coughing up blood all over the ground. <laughs> this guy's gonna go after Tilda because she's right in front of him, and he ju she just hurt him really bad. Yep, that hits. Seven damage to Tilda. It's okay, we have peanut. <laughs> <laughs> always rely on, two, always three, bet on six, six, seven. Dazzle. Okay. Uh, first. Can uh -huh. I use my uh, halfling nimbleness to go underneath the bandit in front of me and for an advantage attack on his groin? You're trying to do what now? I'm trying to walk under his legs in the hopes I can get an advantage attack on his groin. No, damage. you cannot. I figured that would be asking too much. Okay, so I'm going to take my dagger. Seems not normal. And I'm going to attack the guy in front of me. With advantage. Because he's, yeah, that's true. he's fairy, yeah. he's fairy uh, juice. Yeah, so... Uh, never mind. So 12, 12 it meets his AC. Uh, DMs, does that mean it hits or doesn't hit? It does hit. If it meets his AC, it hits. Okay. 
So that hits. So he takes five damage. Okay, and then I will go back at Sarek. I go, Sarek! Fuck him up! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yes! That's great. Zarek, you're inspired. <laughs> All right, Doggo uh, over here. I'm so glad that we did this. Yes. <laughs> All right, he's going to go after... Yeah, I guess he'll go after Beth, because she's all alone. That's a four, so yeah, that hits. Oh, I just realized they're supposed to be doing strength saves. Let's see if she makes her strength save. Yeah. She makes her strength save. Okay, so she just takes the damage. One, two, three, four. All right. Next doggo. He's going to go after Peanut. Don't you dare. If anything happens to Peanut, I'm killing everyone here. That does hit. And let's see. Peanut dies, we riot. Strength save. All right, he's not prone, but he does take damage. All right, it's Beth's turn. Let me update Peanut's health real quick. Okay, so Beth is gonna see that Peanut's being attacked. She doesn't care about the stupid dog. And, well, how, how much health does she have? She might care. She does care. Okay. She's gonna go after the dog that's in front of her. Let's see, what do you have? What can you use? Yeah, sure. Yeah, here I use your short, short sword. Uh, it's supposed to be on normal. Let's see, does a 13 hit the doggo? 13 does hit the doggo. Cool. So she does 7 damage and takes out this doggo. Yeah. Oh, it's dead? Yep. Yep. Thank God. Alright, Zarek. <laughs> you got a bandit, you got an ugly bandit that just hits you. What are you gonna do? Um, yeah, but I can't shoot past your head. So if I'm, I'm if a halfling. I... I'm a halfling, you're taller than me. It's easy. He also has he he also has someone like directly in front of him. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Like I said, you do what you want. Um, I cast shocking touch okay. on the bandit in front of me. Uh. Oh. Yeah, okay. uh, it's I roll I accidentally rolled on dis uh, on disadvantage. Yeah, so we'll take the first roll, that's thirteen, that hits. Uh-huh. So eight that's lightning eight damage. damage, okay. And, uh, I can't really walk away from this. Um I have a think very of... important question about this encounter. Oh, oh um Hold on, yes? Are these bandits wearing metal armor? Let me uh, check the, their is the sheets. Bandit, is the bandit wearing it, like anything to cover his face? Uh, it says they're wearing leather armor. Okay, never mind. And I was I, gonna say, if they were wearing metal armor, then he would get advantage because that's how shocking touch works. Oh, no, that's leather armor. Also, another note, because you hit him with shocking touch, that bandit there can now no longer take reactions for the rest of his turn. Oh, I could Ooh. run away. Well, you still can. Um, I have a I have a question. Yes. Conjuring is any item I've seen physical. It's a phys it, it it physically exists. It's ten pounds. It's three. You can do three feet. Shut up, Chris. I can. I no, no, do it. Do it. No, no. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. No, no. I have a different idea. What are you um, trying to do? I want to conjure a little bag of sand and throw it in his eyes. You know what? I'll I'll allow it. Pocket <laughs> uh, oh, sand. Uh, roll a roll a d twenty. Okay. And I guess um, I guess add I guess add your dex modifier. So just roll it. So just for now, just roll a d twenty. Okay. 
What's the, wait, what's the D24? Like, the blind to see or? To see if you can hit him. Okay. So that's a 10. Do you have a dex modifier? Anything on your uh, dex? Yeah. I don't th I think I do, but let me check. No, I don't. Okay, so he he's able to dodge out of the way, way of your, your pocket, pocket sand. sand. Dang, you right, well, are he's... still inspired. Yeah, yeah, Dang. you're inspired. You're inspired. Roll a d d six. Oh, d six. Okay. Um, like a d six. Like yeah, a d6. yep, yep. Uh, it's a tw so the added two is that enough? That meets his AC. Yes. yes! So, so he, blinded. He, he, he he is blinded. He will have to take eight. Uh, he will have to use an action to clear out his eyes. Okay, I am running away. Okay, I'm far away. <laughs> Bye. Yeet. The yeet. Oh, well, I also blinded. I also blinded him so that way he he uh, second bandit might not attack dazzle. So yeah, basically he will have to spin an action to clear out his eyes or attack at disadvantage. Wait, so cause he because um because he's been affected by shocking touch, which as Solar puts it, he cannot take a reaction. Can he not react to the sh to the blindness then? What, what are you, you talking, talking about? about? Like no, okay, he, it takes an action on, on his, his turn. turn. Okay, okay. A reaction is something that happens not on your turn. Uh, okay. Like like some like, like a like attack of opportunities or stuff like that. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Razzle! Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, while staying within the dog's pack range, I'm gonna move behind it, so that I'm behind it and the, uh, uh, the, the blinded boy. And now I'm gonna use the breath weapon. Okay, hold on. <laughs> no, it won't hit you, it won't hit you. I, I, you are I, just I, without a range, out of range, Irish. Should be. 15. Yep, yep you, you're, you're fine. fine. 15 feet. <laughs> All right. Oh, hang on, let me let me let me let me do the. Oh. <laughs> he can feel the heat. He can feel the heat, most certainly. He's really feeling the heat. So right, let's so see. This make con saves. Constitution. Insert, insert Kingdom Hearts Hades reference here. Let's see. Constitution. No. It it's not really a uh to hit sort of thing, so he it's not something that would affect advantage. Yeah, it automatically hits him. He just needs to roll a Constitution. Yeah, save. and it would hit him anyway because it's so exactly. breath. Oh, never mind. That's shit. <laughs> Whatever. It's a dexterity save. No, from uh, for for fire for fire, it's Constitution. Sure. Hold on, dexterity throw, saving throw. Must make a dexterity saving throw. So the DC is eight plus your the caster's Constitution modifier plus your proficiency bonus. So let me. Okay, right. So let me look at your it. sheet to figure it's out. If you were using Frostbeth, then it would be Constitution, but it's fire, so... Yeah, okay. so uh, it's 11, is the DC. Okay, 11 is the DC. Let me roll for the doggo. He makes that's it. And, and the bandit. Oh, wait, hold on, that's Constitution. He still makes it. That doesn't matter. It's so two, they do two, half two, damage. Two, so two damage each. Yep. Still, not bad. Yeah. How's the uh how's the blinded bandit looking? Hold on, let me check. Oh, he's barely on his he's on his last leg. Okay. Um finish. Finish him. Um No, can't do anything else. I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna stick here for the uh, uh for the moment. Okay. Just updating health hold up. Ba 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 move that back to the GM layer. Alright. Bandit's turn. Oh, that bandit is dead. Let's remove you from the turn order. Well, never mind. I'll just leave it there. It's fine. Uh, okay. Peanut. Peanut. God himself is about to attack you. Oh, oh Lord, he coming. Oh, Lord, he coming. That's a dead doggo. Um, okay, okay, that's that's like what his third nat twenty. This is fourth. This is fourth nat. This is a very lucky badger. Question. Yes. Sucking up your luck. Oh wait, hold on. You're right. So this attack would have been towards this bandit, and that takes out this bandit. Money, money, money. All right. Peanut's just just racking them up. Peanut is the real MVP. Honestly, all right. Tilda's gonna go over here. 
help you out. Uh, let's see. Where are you? And she gets to attack at advantage, because flanking. Oh, so I didn't help out with my pocket stand. <laughs> no, you did. You did. <laughs> Alright, so that's a uh, quarter so staff. Of the <laughs> that does not hit. Unarmed strike. That hits. I was so expecting the no, no, I, I, I thought about it, but then I'm like, well, they're probably gonna have to take a strength save or something, and I don't want to go against that with how bad my throws have been. So. That takes out this bandit. Oh, uh, yeah. He just snapped his neck. Alright, this mastiff is going to go after the fire oh, boy in front of him. No, nothing personnel, kid. <laughs> yeah. right so, bite on for the mastiff. Nope. Not a. Wait, is that oh wait, that's nope, that's the badger. Wrong one. <laughs> it this will be on you though. Okay, fair enough. Does oh, a thirteen? All right, I need you to make a strength saving throw. All right, give me two seconds. And also take two damage. Two damage. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm still all right. Uh, this will see how just all right I am. Never mind, I'm down. You are prone. Uh, basically, you will need to use half your movement to get back up again. All right, but there's a giant like dog trying to bite my face off. Yes. Uh, dog! Dog! Uh, let me make sure I look at what prone it does. So, <laughs> uh, you have advantage, I mean, you have disadvantage on attack rolls, and an attack roll against you is made at advantage if they're within five feet. So the dog will have advantage on the next roll. So, Bandit, this Bandit who's on his last leg, uh, he's going to try and attack with disadvantage, just kind of swinging wildly. <laughs> you, because, well, you're right there. He's going to try and hit, he's going to try and hit the last thing he saw. Does not hit. He's just swinging wildly, swinging a miss. Holy moly, if I had to throw a pocket stand in his face. <laughs> yeah, I bend at the knees perfectly horizontal. It's your turn. <laughs> Okay, uh, make your attack. Dagger. Does not hit. He's able to kind of like avoid your your swinging. Let's see. This... He's blind and he still avoids you. <laughs> yes, this dog is gone. All right, Beth. Uh, she's gonna see what's going on and 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 head over to help you. Let's see if he is blinded. Let me check the blinded condition to see if people get. Advantage. I feel like when I, if, if, I feel like if they have to take a strength or dex save against attack, they attack hit. rolls against blinded creatures do have advantage. Oh really? Oh. Yes, they do. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it does say that. <laughs> like, I, it, it's great to be able to just look up the blinded condition in the thing. So, so hold. Uh, so, sorry if I if hold, hold in there two seconds. All right. Yes. Money. <laughs> uh, that meets his AC, so that hits. That kills him. Hooray! Hooray! We did it, gay. We not did it, gay. Not quite. There's still a doggo. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Beth is gonna take out the hot dog. Yeah. <laughs> and attacks have advantage. And well, she's flanking anyway, so she'll get advantage anyway. All right. So Beth. Double advantage. There is no such thing as double advantage. Shut up, there is now. <laughs> yeah, it's quite double advantage anyway. Fourteen, that hits, so that's seven damage. That takes out the dog. Ink. We Ink. did it. We He's... did it. We did it. Hooray. <laughs> you okay, did. Who aside from Zarek is hurt? Uh, I'm but <laughs> all over the road. Like I said, I know you're hurt. Who else is hurt? <laughs> Uh, let's see. You are, I think. I think Beth is a nine. Beth is a little hurt. Uh, let's see about Tilda. Peanuts hurt. Tilda's a little hurt. Let's see about Peanut. Peanut's the most important part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah Peanut's a little bit hurt. I'm gonna move you guys back to the uh, world map. 
So let's see. Tilda is going to heal herself for before you do that, I was gonna ask if we could take a short rest or I could use song of rest to give us an extra boost to our dice so we can save our uh, spells. I don't know. Do you guys wanna take a short rest? I don't mind taking a short rest. Yeah, what about you, Emily? I think he's uh still off. Wait, sorry, you're talking to me, or...? No, no, Emerald. They're oh. deciding on if they want to take a short rest. Wow! <laughs> How, well, much longer do you... hmm? How much longer do you think we're going to get this game going for, just asking? Because I'm going to be eating dinner in probably an hour. Uh, Sorry about that, I'm back. We can go for more one more hour and then take a break, because it's going to take a little while longer before you finish this. Okay. So, we can we can do we can do an hour, then take a break, and then convene when you're done eating dinner. That sound good, Emerald? I mean, not Emerald, um, Umbra? Yeah. So, Emerald. Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we, so if you need to, you can use a hit dice, and on top of it, you can get a 1d6 to heal you. And I ask, while I'm performing my song of rest, and, uh, Razzle, can you loot the bodies? Oh, yes, absolutely, I'll do that. Weapons and gold. Weapons and gold, I will, uh, I'll do the loot. gold candy. Shall I roll if you, if you find any spe If you find any spells or scrolls, please let me know. Will do. I'll, uh, I, I, I will proceed to loot the corpses. Okay. Roll investigation. Ooh. Ooh. Very nice. Give me that good shit. That is pretty good shit. Hold on. You get. You get two hundred gold. Ooh. Holy oh my goodness. goodness. They're bandits. They were stealing from a lot of people. You also get a one. There's one. Uh, we'll just say one of the scimitars is is still decent enough to be able to use. Hmm. All right. Great. What about the armor? It's just standard leather armor. Probably ain't worth the trouble of going through with it. Yeah. So splitting the gold evenly, you said you got two hundred. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so two hundred five ways. That's forty gold to each of us. Nice. <laughs> God damn it. It was 40 gold, you said? Yes. 40 gold to each of us, yes. That includes Tilda. I'll, 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 I'll go over and give her a share as well. Tilda will take the share. I have now 147 gold, yay. I have 157 <laughs> gold. Well, aren't you just lucky? Oh, thank you very much. Me, and I'll I have like... 178 gold. Alright. So, uh, you guys... Take the time to loot and take a rest. If you need health, roll your hit dice. Uh, question. Hmm? Uh, I'm, uh, since Dazzle is playing uh, A Song of Rest, can I roll uh, just the d6 from uh, the song to see if I get enough health back, or do I have to roll a hit dice and then add the d6? Yeah, I would say, let's see. Spend one or more hit dice to regain hit points. Each of those creatures regains an extra hit, uh, 1d6. So yeah, it looks uh, like you have to use it. So you gain one, and then roll a d6. Alright. Ah, so, well, I, just so you... my I just got all my health back. There you go. So that's two. And I'll roll it. Cool. I don't need that extra d6, I'm all- I'm healthy. You're, you're overhealed. Yeah, I'm very overhealed. You're fine. <clears throat> Until oh wow, I feel fucking great. Oh god. What have I done? <laughs> I can so see do everything. Okay. You guys, you guys are, are all healed, healed up. You get back, back on the road. road. You guys travel for a few hours. hours. Uh, make, make a perception, perception check. check. Oh, what? One. Oh, 
Perception. Perception. That's fine. Oh, dang. Now it is he who sees all. Oh, oh it's, it's supposed, supposed to be on normal. normal. It, well, well it's, it's, the, it's, it's the first, first roll. It's fine. fine. Uh, let's see. That was... Tilda. Now for Beth. Okay. DC's not that high. Alright, so. You guys travel for a few hours. And you hear... Oh, hold on. Let me... Let me make the let me go ahead and make this uh get the screen set up first you guys talk much you yourself while i set this up 100 bottles of ale on the wall 100 bottles of ale you know for this journey encountering a crackhead made of bats and a bunch of bandits looks pretty good i think we got this null issue is pretty easy considered all that oh well let's not get too ahead of ourselves Fine. You sure? Is that, is fine. That fine? <laughs> hey, look, I hate to assume, but the tome is telling me it might not be so fine. Fine! <laughs> I wish I knew common motions, but never mind. I mean, roll an insight. Uh, well, uh, sorry, what? I was going to say, roll an insight check to see if he's actually okay. fine. Okay. Hello. Oh, he's okay. So how how fine are you? <laughs> fine. He's 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 I'll, uh, I'll... He seems a little um disturbed. I'll uh I'll By that there. insight level, seriously? Just, well <laughs> it, it's more like your voice indicates that it's uh Oh uh, okay. I would roll insight, would he roll deception if he's trying to look like Are you trying to hide it? Yeah. Oh, okay, then deception. Okay. How charismatic are you? Real, real deception. Charismatic motherfucker. <laughs> wow, he's oh, fine. He's fine. He seems fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm totally fine. <laughs> yeah, to worry about it. It's totally fine. Yeah, yeah. fine. Yeah. <laughs> further on into death and danger. <laughs> must be the morning grogginess. Uh, sorry, you're good. He's just shaking next to his staff. <laughs> I walk, I walk up uh, next to uh, next to Zarek and I go, Hey, you want to see a magic trick? Zarek? Sure. <laughs> All right. I want to. Uh, I want a minor illusion. Create two little birds that like fly around his head. <laughs> oh, you know minor illusion as well. <laughs> I do indeed. Do you? I do as well. Um, I try, in his shaken state, Zarek tries to cast Minor Illusion, but he unfortunately, still shaken up, shocks the birds that are in the illusion. Oh god. <laughs> oh my. I'd say they, they, they like just poof away in a cloud of smoke. Ah. He goes, ah, it's okay, I can make more. <laughs> nice. You. Gross. But tasty because like they're they're cooked. Yep. Tastes like chicken. You know, it's weird. Everybody's hairs things taste like chicken. Has chicken a certain animal ever tasted? Maybe. Well, you know what I call Sturges? Chicken of the cave. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Keep talking. I'm I'm setting up a board. All right. Hey, hey, uh, hey, hey, I... What? Why do barbarians like fighting? Why? Because it's all the rage, and he gives a respected grin. I press <laughs> I I press to digitate a little confetti to uh, out of my hands. <laughs> what do you do? Zerg just kind of keeps on. Moving on. Hmm. Damn, it's coming around. Eh, it's okay. It wasn't your best, if I'm being totally honest. 
Oof. I didn't hear him. The mic said what? Uh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll walk up next to uh, uh, next to Zarek. Um, would I have known by now, like what? Kind of dragonborn Zarek is? Is he busy blue? Is he? I mean, he's visibly His blue. His scales are blue. Like, I mean, I don't know how hard it is. To he see he it. he is visibly I'm... blue. I'm yeah. just making sure. I'm sorry. Well, yeah, that's right. You're blue. Are you trying to like, yeah. like talk about his lineage Bunch or? or... Uh, no, 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 no. I mean, like, 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 like. Razzle is just gonna kind of like look, uh, look at him and be like, "So you shoot lightning, right?" Yeah. Are you any good at it? I mean, I suppose it's just in our nature to be able to breathe. I mean, yeah, I suppose, but you know, I mean, like, I didn't do, I, I didn't do so hot with the, uh, with the fire back there. I just thought, you know, maybe you're a good shot. Well, I mean, there wasn't really an opening for me to do such a thing. There, there was a lot of people in the way. <laughs> I suppose. Well, I mean, when you run behind me, you're just kind of inevitable. Mm -hmm. Just saying. And. Can I ask you a, a dragon to dragon question? I suppose. I want to like try and uh, uh, try and keep this like um, rather like visibly looks around to make sure that it's only him and uh, Zarek that can hear him. Uh, uh, and he goes, be right next to you, so do you tell me to leave? Um. Well, actually, no. Nah, actually, no. Nah, like you would know about this, so uh, uh, so okay. it's okay. So Razzle kind of like looks at Zarek and just goes, "Um, you haven't seen any uh any." Gold dragons in your travels, have you? No. None at all. None that are you know kind of like me, except just really, really big and with wings. I mean, not that I can remember. You guys hear uh, a woman scream off in the distance. Oh, trouble! Oh, look at that. Let's go. <laughs> Pull my sword and I immediately go running. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Come I, on, Dazzle! I and I pick up Dazzle and just start running with him. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, uh. <laughs> you pick up the pace and start booking it down the road. Uh, soon after, you see a woman on horseback under attack. Uh, she's surrounded by three hyenas. The horse is stomping to try and keep them at bay, and the woman is trying to throw her things at them, but it doesn't seem to be driving, driving the hyenas away. Uh, well, uh, hold on, let me get up the initiative thing first. Okay. And I guess, yes, you can yell at the woman. Ah! Hey, Dennis, no, we're good. So let me move you back to the battle map. It's great to have just like a general road battle map. <laughs> I pull out. We walked by this place like ten times already. Anyway, <laughs> so okay. Look, I will find more roads later. This will do for now. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I pull out my sword and I point at one of the hyenas and I go, "Peanut, kill!" Yeah. Peanut doesn't understand what you're saying. Oh, then I look at uh, I look at Beth and I go, Beth, tell Peanut kill. So wait, these are nulls right here? No, these are hyenas. hyenas. Oh, hyenas. They're okay. Pets. They're pets, basically. Yeah. They're attacking a woman on horseback. And I guess um, I'll roll initiative for the horse, cause why not? Right. I need to roll initiative. Sorry. Click uh, your token and roll initiative. Yep, I got that this time. Uh, you can do you can do it this time. <laughs> it's better. But it's not, not a better. one. All right, that all right. of you? It's because you yeah. say the rules that matter. That is true. All right, hyena number one. Uh, he's gonna try. He, the, right now, the lady is on top of the horse, so it's gonna try and attack the horse. Razzle is going to use his uh, uh his free hand to just like bap dazzle on the head. That's a three damage to the horse. Where's the freaking horse? There's the horse. Horse, of course. Horse is a horse, of course. Yeah. I mean, you people would know. What do you mean, you people, Scaly? <laughs> what do you mean? Hey! 
<laughs> Jesus. Your best friend is a scaly, thank you very much. I said Bailey's, Bailey's, my favorite drink. Uh-huh. Right. How much HP do you have, I give him another bap on the head. <laughs> Hold on. Not telling me how right. much a horse has in this. Oh, there it is. Alright. Who's next? Oh, hyena number two. Alright. Numero dos. Numero dos. Attack with this. Hmm? Also, um, uh, I'm not on the initiative order, but uh, I rolled a... Yeah. Okay, um, click your token, roll initiative again, and change it to the right one. Oh, and of course, now I get the next one. <laughs> yeah, so what was your first initiative? It was 14. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <clears throat> Second hyena. So much things. 14. Does a 14 hit your natural AC horse? It does. <laughs> Alright, horse is not down, but it's hurting. Now's the horse's turn. It's good. Uh, sorry, I think um, I think I go next because my uh, it, it's is a 12 and mine's 14. Oh, okay, hold on. Yeah, hold on. It's uh, gotta redo the thingy. Okay. So your initiative was 14? It was indeed. Horses. Okay. There you go. All right. All righty. So what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll walk the full 30 feet. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm going to chuck uh, my dagger at this one. All right. Make your attack. All right. And... Nope. Uh, and that was to the high. Yeah, no. No. Alright. <laughs> sort of flax off the side of it. Yeah, it just it just misses. Hyenas don't really have armor, so it just misses. Uh, okay. I've got you! Ha! Fuck! Um, I almost choked on my gum, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> don't choke on your gum. You, we, we need you to not die. This is alright, I'll just die in the game. <laughs> <laughs> alright, now it's the horse's turn. Let's see, can you attack horse? Weapon strike horse. Weapon attack. Okay. Horses can attack. He can do it. Yeah, I'm just gonna roll it for the thing. So it's a plus five to hit, so d20 plus five. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm not a bard, because I can't inspire people. Thirteen. <laughs> you can cast menacing laughter, or whatever that thing is. Hideous called. laughter. Hideous, Hideous laughter. laughter. I don't know it. No, it's a joke. Oh, no. that that hits. Okay. Let's see what a horse does is for damage. That That's is two D four plus three. Eight damage. Ooh. Yeah, that is actually what he does. Wow. We gotta help the horse. <laughs> He's fine. Wow. Holy shit, he just fucking killed that thing. Yeah. He holds his hands up in the touchdown pose. It's good! <laughs> <laughs> with the Why are the animals that we keep interacting with so much more powerful? <laughs> I don't know. It's only the animals that are on our side. He's gonna go to this one. Oh, balls. You got a hyena in front of you. Oh, uh, hello. Rar. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, that hits. Oh, it's supposed to be normal, but it rolled a 21 anyway, so three damage to you. Yeah. Oh, right. That's right. It's advantage because of pack tactics. Okay. So, yeah, three damage to you. Dazzle. Help your friend. That's what I'm doing. I take out the short bow. I'm gonna roll like I watch it, and I take the short bow. And I put twing. Eighteen hits. 
That's three damage to it. It's hurting. Yeah. And uh, that's what I do. Okay. Zarek. All right. Um. Well, Hyenas are attacking a woman. What do you do? Hyenas are attacking. I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's just like, I'm gay, and Ross, so I'm gay. I am gay, for, therefore I do not save damsels in distress. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Sorry. Uh. God, I can't fucking focus <laughs> Shut up! I'm sorry. That's um, really funny. Uh, but 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 that was 25 feet. Give me one sec. Um, oh. shoot! No, it wouldn't hit. Oh. Okay, <laughs> it would. It just be threading the needle right there. Um, you can't move anymore, can you? No, I can. I can move. What are you more trying more. to do? I'm trying to cast lightning breath. Ah, if you go. Wait, yeah, that I think that's the um, extent of your movement. Right, right. Yeah, the diagonal. Yeah, there we go, right there. Sorry, my, my brain is not processing things right. Um, um, it would come from you though. Yeah. Well, I just see it. For the light, light, lightning breath. Oh no, it's it hurt. What, that I don't want to do that. Well, what's the oh, what's God. the yeah? Range. What's the range it's on 30, it? It's thirty feet. Okay, so it would, I think it would just hit the. It would hit right here. Yeah, that that would that would get her. Okay, then I want to do that. Um, I'd say that get her. Yeah. Uh, Zara, uh, I forget. Did you inspire me or no? I don't think anyone was inspired. Okay, I will take a pot shot. Light. Yeah, <laughs> you know me too well. I take out my light crossbow and I fire at the hyena in front of uh, Razzle. Okay. That'll do it. Yes. Yeah, that'll do it. You said in front of Razzle? I'm a freaking sharpshooter wizard right here. Yeah. <laughs> Ping! Bum! Should we kill it? Yeah. Oh, killed it? Hooray! Thanks, bud! <laughs> no problem. Let's see. This hyena is gonna try and attack the horse again. And since it has no more pack, it doesn't make- it doesn't have pack tactics. Uh, let's see. Right. That does not hit the horse. Uh, see, that one's dead. Razzle. What about the, what about the rest of our gang of mercenaries? Did I not roll? I thought I rolled for them. Oh, hold on. Apparently they're not. Cars in the back of the... Yeah, I'll, I'll just have uh, Beth go then Tilda. Thought I had them on the turn order. A longbow towards the hyena. Yeah, that takes it out. Holy oh. shit, nice. <laughs> Beth takes out that last hyena. Like, she kind of arcs it so it lands right on top of the hyena's skull. Not bad. Yep. Encounter over. Hey, alright. Uh, question. Uh, is, the, uh, uh, is the horse that the woman is on top of still going crazy? It is, um, it's still spooked, yes. Alright, um, uh, I'm going to, oh, okay. Uh, you can, theater of the mind, it's fine. Yeah, 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 okay, cool. Uh, I'd like to, uh, just uh, approach the horse and just try and calm it down, like, hey, 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 easy. Roll animal handling. Handling. Yeah. Alright, you're able to, um, the, yeah, yeah. Uh, can I see if there's anything useful on the hyena? Sure. Uh, investigation. Investigation. Yeah, there are hyenas. They don't really carry things on them. Can I cut off their paws? That'd be a survival check. You're able to cut off your their paws. I take. I cut off their paws. I. I cut off all of their paws, and I wrap them around in a rope, like a necklace, and I. Placed it around my shoulder. Okay. And Add 12 hyena paws. Can I, uh, scan him? Just a brute. 
survival check, and also you, uh, Razzle, you are able to calm down the horse. Excellent. Okay, I, I've been on a farm before. How many? How much rope do you think I'd need for that? Uh, I'd probably say probably feet. like maybe ten feet of rope. So now I'm down to four. Okay. Just need to make sure. <laughs> Hang on, you made a necklace, right? Well, I mean, I made a. He's got them and slung over his back. Yes. I I I, I think I ha I have an idea I can use with this. So. Okay, I'm gonna roll survival for skin and gut because I'm a hyena. <laughs> I stand right over here. Oh my god. It's just like it's like if you put a hyena through a wood chipper and just. Oh god. Like, I have no damn clue what I'm doing. Like the <laughs> fucking Argo or Fargo. So. Thanks, thanks to you guys, the woman is unharmed. The horse is a little damaged, but it, it looks like it'll survive. Uh, now that you're close, you see she's a middle-aged woman with, uh, with blonde, long hair, blue eyes, uh, wearing simple robes that seem to be maybe from a temple of some sort. Uh, she, she thanks you all profusely for, for helping her out and saving her. I'd like to uh, uh, help her down from the horse and just be like, "Are you hurt? Are you okay?" Oh yes, I I'm okay. Uh, luckily, they couldn't get me off the horse, so I'm I'm perfectly fine. Thank you. Uh, not a problem at all. Not a problem at all. Um, where did those uh, hyenas come from? Well, it's it's the darndest thing. Usually, uh, they're not near here. They're they're never anywhere outside of the forest except at night. For hunting, and even then, they usually avoid get being this close to town. So, is there an, uh, a recent influx of them coming from the forest, or is Riska in trouble? Not, not that I know of. Uh, they normally follow these a nasty pack of gnolls that call themselves the Dire Mutilators, but like I said, they usually never leave their hunting grounds in the forest. Oh, they sound <laughs> what was that name again? The Dire Mutilators. <clears throat> Um, well, they sound absolutely charming. Who who are you people? Oh, I'm Razzle. Lovely to meet you. And I like extend hand. Yeah. She she shakes your she shakes your hand. Uh, thank thank you so much, Razzle. My name is May May Parker. Wait, pleasure to meet you, May. Um, we're from the Platinum Scales Guild. Platinum Scales. Oh yes, I know of you. Lovely. Oh, you've heard of me then. I have. Yes. Um. Uh, one of my uh, relatives was looking into you guys. I was actually off to go and visit him, but now I think I'm just going to head back to town. Uh, do you need an escort? Or actually, yes. That that'd be so great if you could uh, take me back to Riska. Oh, not a problem at all. I uh, sort of pull out my sword. Form up, folks. We're uh, taking uh, Miss uh, May here back to Riska. Yeah, she will. Um, she will give you all a silver piece for your trouble. Hey, day. hey So you all uh travel for a few hours and and see a windmill up ahead. Uh, Riska isn't too far off now. Uh, you see a small village come into view. Uh, there are fields of golden wheat, corn, and other vegetables. Uh, a few barns on the outskirts of town. Uh, next to pens and stables for livestock. Um. As you get closer, you see a few farmers tending the fields and people out and about in the streets. What yeah, the I think there's a tree. <laughs> I remember this. <laughs> My eyes are immediately drawn to the big tree in the middle, and I'm like, I, I grab onto Razzle, like, oh no, they're back. We're going back. Hold on. What do you mean? Oh, because of the tree. The we place, didn't tell him about the big place. Oh, right to the Feywild. No, I don't think you have to worry about so, it. So, um, so, Dazzle, you are, you are aware of what this tree is. Right. It, yes, it is a blessing from one of the gods that this village worships. Uh, some call it the Wild Mother. Uh, and essentially... It helps the, the village with crops, makes things grow. That's why so much produce is exported from this village. Though now that you think of it, 
It does look a lot like the trees in the Feywilds. Wow, thanks, I hate it. <laughs> uh, I think it's pretty. Yeah, but I don't remember the Feywilds. So. Oh, that's right, you don't remember the Feywilds, so it's just a pretty tree. I feel the anger of puppies. <laughs> yeah, it's just a pretty tree. Yeah. Uh, once once you guys are back in a town, she she thanks you again, and she'll point you in the direction of an inn if you need some rest. Uh, and she'll go off towards her house. If you unless you guys have a question for her or something. Uh, no, I think I'm good. I'll just be like, I'll I'll wish her well. And that'll be it. Okay. So you're in town. Uh. Right, so my house. Oh God. <laughs> Is her husband alive? You don't know. <laughs> they don't remember the Feywild Solar, but I, when, when they tried to describe it to me, I, because I did a history check, I told them where they went. Okay. I, mean, we uh, I would say you. your house is over here by the by the farm. Want to make a quick pit stop? Oh, uh, do you think it's gonna be alright, us just walking in like this? I mean, they're my family, and they certainly don't know of any, uh, signs of removing animals, I hope. Fair enough. Um, so, out of game, out of game, question for you. What? God damn, what the Hello. fuck? Hello. <laughs> Sorry. Out of game question, uh, would Razzle have met your family? No, you know of them? Okay. Like once he once he hit the road and joined up with our band, he that's the last time he was like home. So it's been about three ish years, I would say. Alright. Well I'll uh, uh Razzle will sort of just like Razzle tries to make himself like look a little uh a little bit more presentable. Uh I use uh, Preston to digitate and then just snap in between him. Oh great, okay, cool. Thank you very much. I mean I was going to, but uh much appreciated. So, uh, I, I've knocked already. Unfortunately, I can't hear everybody. Okay, so you knocked. Uh, you don't really hear. Uh, no one really answers the door. Um, however, you can hear hear familiar voices on kind of the back side of the house towards the fields. Yeah, you, will, you follow around. I don't have any tokens for them, so you'll just have to imagine. Uh, you see four young men out tilling the fields, um, plowing, planting, pulling weeds, all that stuff. They don't seem to notice you're there yet. Hey, Where are you people? <laughs> they, they, they look up and, and drop all their, their equipment and then run over. You motherfucker, where have you been? They uh, show everywhere. You they, believe this is a week we've had. They 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 all, you know, give you give you hugs and noogies and all that other shit. Some of a couple of them look taller than you remember cuz it's been a while. The youngest one, Sam, had seems to have gotten a growth spurt. He's taller than you. Wow, that's embarrassing as fuck. Sam kind of he, he he laughs and 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 pats you on the shoulder. Who's the big brother now? <laughs> um the old uh remind me are you the oldest one yes okay so the second oldest i'm gonna say that's brock he's gonna uh approach you and kind of pull you off to the side where exactly have you been he hands you a letter So, in the letter, you see written, We know where your family is. We'll be in touch. Something wrong there, Daz? No, nothing. Nothing at all. I pulled the note. Keep it. Uh, I don't worry about it. It's just some people. Roll deception. May or may not hate me. Oh. <laughs> he, he's, gonna, he's gonna be like, What did you do? I rolled deception. 
Like, you are not good at lying. <laughs> or at least not in this instance. Family can tell. Oh, uh, alright, you know what? I'll, I'll roll inside. I'll roll a d20 for his inside. I really doubt I'm gonna roll lower than a 4, though. Roll d20. He knows that you're lying. How much do you owe, and who do you owe it to? He goes, you what? <laughs> you what? That's just, that's, that's just how the mafia works. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I say, that's just how the mafia works. <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? Uh, yeah, 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 fine. Do you realize how much trouble you've put not only yourself but us in? Oh, you are just as bad about gambling as mom. Uh, oh my gosh, we got. I have to tell mom. Oh no. Well, of course I'm not going to advertise them. I don't want the Mafia sniffing around here any more than they already have. Yeah, no, I don't. Brock is just giving him a good scolding about the dangers of gambling with the fucking Mafia. Yeah, especially that much. Yeah, Razzle is just... Still... Sorry, no, 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 go on. You, you'd better. You guys were in Slipwood, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's where we're at now. You know, how about this? Two pods. Right over there, and we can. He, he, he gives off a heavy sigh. You owe me big time. Maybe not as much as the Mafia, but you still owe me. Yeah, I do. Uh, in fact, I give him 18 gold. He'll, he'll take it. Yeah, I just say, like, in case you guys need to travel fast. <sighs> He's like, he, d he just sighs and, and rubs his temples. Fine. Fine. Hopefully they won't do anything. At least not anytime soon. You think? He rolls his eyes, and then then walks back to uh, you know the other two brothers. Okay. Well, do you guys have any place to stay? We don't we don't have much room. We got the we've got a barn. That's about it. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's the inn, which I think is maybe maybe a cup maybe a silver piece for all of you, and then there's the barn, so we'll think about it, we'll come back if we want the barn. Alright, fair enough. I just I back to The uh How's your family doing, Daz? The, the the rest of the the boys in yeah inside versus deception insight check would he have advantage given that he was very visibly never sure? mind wait you would have I I, I want to make the argument that Razzle would have advantage because he just saw him getting zoomed out and would probably know something well hit, hit, your brother was kind of keeping it more hush hush because you're talking about the mafia so 
he didn't really roll a perception to take notice. Nope. So, you still roll your deception. I doubt you're going to beat the worst thing ever. Yeah, it's a, it's a nat, nat one, so Razzle doesn't notice anything wrong. He's my best friend. He's fine. Yep, well, this is fine. You people are terrible at identifying problems. <laughs> and you are terrible at reading people. Yes, isn't it great? Well then, uh, if no one else has any more objections, I say we ask about that hyena. Good idea. Let's. As time is of the essence, I believe. Indeed, certainly is. Um, are there any buildings of interest around me that I can take a look at that we could start our search? Uh, they're all. They all seem to be just general farmhouses. There's a general store. Uh, it's a very, very simple town. Like not a lot to it. Filled with simple people. Yeah, simple town, simple people. <laughs> it's it's got a it's got a it's got a temple, but you know, small time. Uh, I'll uh, I'll say then that we uh, we go to hit up the uh, the general store. Okay, you guys go to the general store, which is which building? It's going to be this one over here with the uh, produce next to it. Right. Uh, I will, I will, uh, is the door open? Do I have to knock? No, it's open. Alright, I'll just trot on inside. Yeah, you're just inside. Like, there, there's no, uh, map for it. Oh. Oh. Ah, hello, everybody. Oh. Hello there, lovely. Hi, everybody! Hi, Hi Dr. Nick. Dr. Nick. <laughs> How may I help you? Uh, we're asking around about some hyenas. We rescued a woman on the town and attacked by some. Have there been any, uh, any no problems in this end of the woods recently? Well, not that I know of. Usually they stay near the forest. Um, most of the time they only hunt in the night, so you probably won't see them in the daytime. Hmm. In general, they wait until adventurers like yourselves go in the forest at night. But during the day, uh, they're usually asleep. If you can find them, sure. But I mean, none of us can really see in the dark, so it's gonna be a bit tricky to find. We have a badger that can. That is true. We you do, do have a badger. That is true. You do have a badger that can see in the dark. Sounds good to me. Carry a hyena man I indicate the giant badger and the length of rope that I've got. Yeah. I mean. You can you can also rent a cart. Yes, uh, yes, Gary. They did. They are currently in Riska. Yes, we're not dead. Not yet. They they saved a woman named May Parker. God dang it. <laughs> I just now realized just it. Now oh, got that. What do you mean you only realized it now? Oh, this town full of simple people and now the, the brick finally drops. <laughs> it is cold. <laughs> anyway, so. Do so. Do you buy anything from the store? Does anyone need to buy anything? I'm good for them. What, what does the store have? Just general stuff. Um, ropes, um... You know, no, no, doesn't really have weapons, got farming equipment, just- I could always do with more rope, no I'm kidding. <laughs> oh god. Ooh, anyway, whoa. is there a blacksmith in town? No. Oh, there is a mm -mm. there. Given my knowledge of this town, would I know of anyone that would want to buy a scimitar? Um, given your knowledge of this town, you know that for the most part, anything, like, that's- sort of a specialty like blacksmithing, potion making, anything like that, people go to Slipwood to get. This is very, this is pretty much just rural plant, you know, farmland. How hang on do we get back to Slipwood then? So, we head north to find the hyena people. Yep, are you guys going to wait until night or go during the day? Well, they don't really come out until night, so it's best that it's just waiting for the evening. But mm -hmm. then we wouldn't be able to see them, shouldn't we? At least try to investigate a little bit. You can bit. buy torches. Oh, well, yeah, we can, can't we? 
Yeah. Torches would be very helpful. Yeah. Do I have a torch? Hmm? Uh... I think that maybe Zarek's got the right idea about maybe scoping out the place a little bit first. What time is it in uh, in in game? Uh, I'd say it's about close to noon. All right. Uh, in that case, I will put a silver piece onto the 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 general's table and be like, uh, "Could I have a few to uh, as many torches as that will buy me, please?" Okay, hold on. Check and see how much a torch is worth. Okay, I'd say you can buy um, five torches for uh, well enough torches for all of you with all the right, silver. Uh, they're I'll take they're one cheap. And I'll hand one out to everybody else. All right, everyone, add a single torch to your inventory. Hooray! I can set things on. Fire. Oh yeah. Okay, so a torch is a copper piece, so you can get ten torches. Oh great. Okay. In that case, everybody take two. Two torches. Keep in mind, if we light torches at night, more than likely they'll be able to see us before we see them. I mean, that is true too, I suppose. You can always conjure a uh, campfire and then lure them in. You could Ooh. use your bedrolls, and we could, we, we, I mean, this is a farm place, we could take the bedrolls and stuff them with hay and create dummies and lure yeah, them out. Yeah, you're onto something. Oh, I knew the, ah, oh, you see, you're getting the hang of this adventuring. Well, I yeah. mean, it did some, just a simple diversion technique, I've read it in a book. book ah, but it's, All right, as long as we get ah, but it's a simple diversion technique that may just get us... So a singular bedroll will be one gold piece. I have. I, I I I will put down. Um, Wait, how many bedrolls does the shopkeep have? Wait, before you do that, do they sell scarecrows? It is a deal. I mean, we can't you just ask your family for some hay? Yeah. yeah I mean, there's a barn right there. They don't want to be bothered by. Don't worry about <laughs> Insight that. check. I I I, I will put down. I will put down. Yeah. Five gold pieces for five bedrolls. All right, add five bedrolls to your inventory. Uh, and now I'll split it among the party. I know, I know you two already. Ha I know everybody else already. <coughs> excuse me, has a bedroll, so I've taken two because I don't have one. And <coughs> Derek, Derek would like a place to sleep. So let me think. I would say. Let me see. So, Razzle can tell that something is up. Alright. I will sort of, like, I will meet Dazzle's gaze, but for the moment, I, I will say nothing. I, I definitely am not contact. <laughs> but anyway, All before right. you buy the bedroll, does, does the shopkeep sell scarecrows? I would say that the shopkeep wouldn't sell scarecrows because most just make their own. Because so we'll it's just uh, hay and clothes. Yeah. So you bought the bedrolls. Do you buy the hay if I don't take walking up to a field to see? Yeah, sure, sure, you can buy hay. Uh, how much right. would it be? How much would you say would be in that? Like, okay, that probably, I'd say, it's a bale of hay. Um, it's a lot. A bale, of, a bale of hay could fit at probably about two or three bedrolls. And we have five. Hello? 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 Thank you. Oh. Oh, yeah, probably is. For hay, B. Uh, I'd say a silver piece for hay. A silver piece? Okay, I have gold. Does the shopkeep have, uh... So, um, uh, one gold is ten silver pieces. Alright, so I will put down a gold for eight silver and two bales of hay. Alright. So, you got two bales of hay. Alright. Uh, so, now would be the perfect time to take the break, because I have to go eat dinner. So, it'll, right. I probably won't be back for another half an hour, uh, because we can't get scarecrows. Are the gnolls really going to be smart enough to check the bedrolls at night under a campfire? Hmm. 
I don't really know. I've never really. Need I just know anything about this? About a knowing some major. Remember, we already checked back at uh. Yeah, everybody already checked about their history of gnolls. Yeah, the, uh, I think I think she rolled really low, or maybe even a one yeah, for a knowledge was, on gnolls. So I was the one that rolled the highest, and all I know is that they're small mammal-like creatures with a a tendency, extreme tendency to be aggressive. Mm -hmm. I, I remember that moment. Correct me if I'm wrong. I thought it was just plus three and the perceptions. No, I rolled for her too. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we didn't ask Tilda though. Tilda, do you oh, know yeah, anything about Tilda? Do you know anything about gnolls? Let's see if Tilda knows anything about gnolls. Are you okay? So she's Please, she's Tilda. she's not proficient in nature, so she's gonna roll this at disadvantage. She wouldn't know uh, either way. <laughs> yeah, she's like, "What's a gnoll?" She's like, "Ah, I, I don't know." It's spelled, I've, I, it's spelled N O L E, right? She, she's like, I've only really been in the mo in the temple, so uh, it's okay. Um, well, I, I, with how with how with the, the little I remember of reading, I, they seem to be very animalistic, despite their higher intellect than other creatures. Um, because of that, I don't think they would be smart enough to see this trap. So I say we go ahead with this plan unless the, uh, anybody has any objections. Oh, I think it's a fantastic plan. Set up a little camp, get a tiny fire going, get some bags, and just scout out and wait. And whether they fall for the trap or not, once they're in the camps, I don't even think we'll do it. Do we want, we'll, we'll want to kill as many as we can before I cast sleep, though. Because sleep, it sleep, uh, goes through their armor classes one by one, and then takes it down. So it's not going to affect every single one of them. It may not. It would be nice if it would, but I doubt it will. Well, how about that? If, if we want to, I'd say we play cautious and we kill them all in sleep one at least. Well, I, I just tend to agree with that. If more than one shows up, we may as well. We're going to have to fight anyway. <laughs> oh, of course. Oh, I got an idea. You have that. Um, I, I get. I get kind of close to uh, Sarek, and I, I whisper to him like, "We have to set that up. We have to get back to Sarek." But why? There, it's a hallucinogen. Remember, it would probably send them into a rage. Can I make a perception well, check to hear what he just said? Yes. Never mind. <laughs> yep, yes um, you are. I, 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 I did say it was with drink. I, I suppose in theory that would work. Um, but then there's still the danger that they might kill themselves and we don't have one lie of Null to bring it back. Um, um, Zarek, do you have proficiency and what do you think what would this be let me check and see what this be hold on okay Ooh. i'd say just make a straight intelligence check straight intelligence check all right um ba -ba 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 -ba. i gotta pull up my character sheet there it is let me think about my own intelligence uh <laughs> Think, think, think. Oh, God. Hmm, you're not sure if this will work or not. Okay. Um, uh, I, I mean, it's a, we have a 50-50 chance that the, the rage-induced ones would kill each other. We could ambush them and still, I could still cast sleep, but Nulls can be a little fast. We don't know how fast they'll kill each other over this, let alone with their aggressive nature, how quickly they'll make their own death, so... Razzle's eyes all of a sudden light up. I'll be right back, and I run inside the generals. Okay. 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 Ah, buddy, my friend! Hello there, hello again. Uh, a realization just came to me. Uh, I need to ask you uh, something. 
Do you have any animal traps or bear traps? Yes, yes, I do. We have some bear traps uh, right over here. Say again? I said we have some bear traps right over here. Lordy, uh, would I be able to take a few? Sure, give me a moment. He's... How many do you need? Three or four. Let's see. Bear traps. Just pulling it up so I can put it in your inventory. Mm-hmm. It's not an item that I can put. Which is weird. Hmm. I'll have to add. I'll have to. I'll have to add it manually. It's okay. I can. <laughs> oh, it's called hunting trap. That's why I couldn't find it. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Yep, there it is. All right, hunting trap. Let's see how much that'll cost you. Mm -hmm. Oh, that. It's a bug. Is that a bug? Yep. Okay, I'll have to add his lurker bug in there. Uh, okay, so hunting traps are five gold pieces each. Uh, I will take. Yeah, I can take four. I'll take four. I'll give him twenty gold. Okay, so subtract that from your in your uh thing. Yep. I got one hundred thirty-seven left. I'm still good. <laughs> Been giving you guys too much money. <laughs> now, bars just start with a lot of money, so like. Oh yeah, that's right. You guys rolled for a lo you rolled pretty well for that. So I'm gonna add hunting trap to your inventory. Like how real talk. I like how I put it. My, my head was still wet, so I gave myself another cold bath. I put a pillowcase on my head to try to dry it off because I had no towel available. Like, because I wanted to have my headset on. So like, you know what? I'm just gonna wear this on my head while I have my headset on. <laughs> I was just, just trying to figure out what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> it's spaghetti. Uh oh, okay then. Uh -huh. So, yeah. remind me, Brazel, how many, or this is out of character, but how many traps did you find? I bought four. Okay, I have a question. Just ask him that, so. <laughs> Contingency plan. Yeah. Alright, so you guys have your, your four traps. What, what else you doing? Um, we got the traps, we got the bedrolls, we got the hay. Uh, we have a we have a tor we have a torch to light the fire. Although I could use chalking touch and just of course like that. that is that is that is a question. Do you guys want to sleep until the night time because it's about midday, or do you want to wait until night time and then go, or what do you want to do? I think well, the thing is the the gnolls will be roaming at night, so wouldn't it be more pertinent to? find a place to set this up and be getting set up that's up to yeah. you guys because yeah, they're, they're they're apparently away they're apparently away in their caves they're not going to be roaming the daytime according to these farm these farm hands so yeah i yeah I, I i say we go into the woods now set the trap now and then we hunker and down we find, and then we just hunker down in front of it i mean we've already had plenty of rest on the way here we need to be ready to face them as soon as they get there Agreed. I, I, I doubt that they, they, as soon as they, those bear traps, those traps get them, they are going to more than likely cut them up, up cut, get out of them. Okay. Yeah, let's hold them for just a moment so they can, you know, yes. the old stabby so stab. Tell me this, uh, Cleric. Your sleep spell works if they've been, uh, through a fight, correct? It works it, better. Well, it, it, it works in sort of. I mean, the thing is, my sleep spell goes in checks to see, you know, it, it goes through many people, and it necessarily, how strong they are, the weaker ones will fall first, the stronger ones will resist it over time, so. Well, so in essence, we... like, say for example, there's three gnolls, you know, it'll make sleep one more than likely, but if the other ones are stronger, they may just resist 
Our plan is gonna be kill all but one. At least, at least, at least one. What if we bring two? We might get an extra award. Ooh, that sounds good. There but then that means that we have two nulls to keep track of, and then if one of them gets loose, then we got a problem. Yeah, exactly. Nothing, nothing in the fine print said anything about an extra null, and it seems like they it were just, the only thing that she said was fine print was the bigger and stronger it is, the more the, the bigger the rewards. So. And, but, uh, but then the, but then the harder my but then the more likely my sleep spell would re be resisted. It would it, the only way my sleep spell could re work on a strong null would be as if there are none uh, no other ones to resist it around. Me. So, mm. so we let's need set to. This trap. Let's start walking. Uh, we start walking while we're talking. Sure. Walk and walk. Talk sure. and walk. Let's make our move towards a spot where. Alright, let me... Hell yeah. Oh, we're doing it, boys. Let me do a quick measure. Holy so... Moly. Oh, they're across the river? Okay, damn. Yeah. Holy moly. They're, uh, they're in this area. Damn, alright. So, about... Not a whole day to get there, but... Pretty close. We say, we say it was noon. Will we reach there before sunset, though? No. Okay, okay, then maybe what say, we should uh, I say we rest up in town, states, wait till morning, and then make our way over to the woods. Yes, I agree. That. I agree, definitely. Okay. Let's go sleep in your family's barn, Daz. <laughs> All right. Actually, um, before we go and do that, uh, I yeah. tree and just like sort of admire it for a while. <laughs> it's it's spark. Leaf, uh, Kit, Kit, uh, Zarek also approaches the tree and. Um. Hey. He uh, wa he wonder he wonders if it'd be okay to take a leaf from the tree. Zarek, Zarek. This is very important. If you take one of the leaves, you have to keep one foot on the ground, or you might get an angry shot. Why? I don't fucking know why. Hey, it's just how it works. Okay, I'll just leave it alone then. Just just a uh, point of order. Dazzle would know this. Uh, people don't tend kindly to people fucking with the tree in this village. Okay, I will not, as you say, fuck with the tree in this village. I'm just gonna kind of sit with my legs crossed on the ground, uh, open up my little book, and uh, write about the adventure that we've gone on, so, and uh, draw a picture of the tree. All right. Sure. Uh, roll, roll dexterity to see how well you draw the tree. How well do I draw a tree? <laughs> Ooh. Really well. You draw the holy shit holy out of that tree. I drew the shit out of that tree. Yeah, you even managed to uh, you, you even managed to like shade in the sparkles by using negative space. Ooh. So yeah, you draw pretty spot on rendition of this tree. Very nice. Yeah. Literally nobody is ready for this plan. <laughs> <laughs> all right you guys you guys spend the night in the barn oh does anyone have any like not full health because now would be the time to roll for hit well you don't roll for a hit dice when you take a when you take a long rest you just restore everything oh okay do we get all of our hit dice back again on long rest you get everything back hit dice spells um any uh, you know, inspiration, all that stuff is restored on a long rest. Hell yeah. So, one second. Where are... Oh, that's why. Okay. Okay, so you guys are uh, sleeping in the barn? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you guys bed down for the night, you all find some some piles of hay that aren't covered in shit and you know sleep let's see you say hay and shit like i really hope you don't mean like literal shit no i far. said i said <laughs> hey <laughs> i say you find some hay that's not covered in shit oh okay <laughs> i just get a tarp and make a little hammock in the rafters all right so um, well yeah okay you, anything you guys want to do before you go to sleep nope all right uh, while you guys are asleep, I want all of you to roll perception checks at disadvantage. Uh, why? Roll it. Disadvantage. 
Yep. Hey, that's exciting. Not bad. Uh, That was Beth. Oh, well, that makes sense. Yeah. And Come on, Peanut. Tilda. This is Tilda. Peanut. And Peanut. Roll, roll uh, perception with disadvantage. Me? All right. Yeah. Everyone, yeah. Uh, uh, are we all keeping watch individually? Or? No, you're not keeping watch. You're all asleep. And that's two. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Peanut, you're savior. Peanut sees he he gets this twenty. Fucking badger, holy shit! <laughs> that's his fifth twenty in the, today. <laughs> and that's at that's basically disadvantage because I ro I rolled it twice, so he got a twenty. Oh my god, love peanut. So everyone rolled. Yeah. Peanut. All right. Ev okay, everyone that rolled above a fifteen. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Oh, hold on. Let me let me make sure you guys are in the right space. Oh god. Shit. Yeah, that's that's very important here. Why do I hear boss music? I don't hear boss music yet. They're 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 predicting boss music. Okay. We're under attack. Board of the doors! Oh, you hear shouting from outside the doors of the barn, and the sound of feet hitting the wooden floors in the in in the uh, in the house. Uh, you you hear pounding on the bar bar doors as uh, as Dazzle's brothers like alert you to what's going on, followed by warnings of people who are outside. <clears throat> You go outside, it's pandemonium. People are either running for cover or barricading themselves in their houses. Some houses have broken windows or broken doors. You can hear screams from within. Other houses have blood trails coming from the doors. Knolls! Oh, Knolls are attacking! I, I lead to the bar. Wake the fuck up! Ah, oh, above, above. Ah, uh, uh, trouble. What kind of trouble? Bad trouble! Bad attack! Oh. Murder attack! This is oh, like, like, <laughs> a I, why do I, why do I feel? Okay, I'm gonna just go off on a limb and say that uh, you planned this right after I made that plan, didn't you? Um, no, I planned this from before you guys started the session. Dang. Oh damn! All right. That's well, what the GMs do. I know, but. I it just seemed a little too well timed. It's like, oh, mm -hmm. we're all prepared to. Thinking of all these possibilities. I yell at my brother, it's like, go, go, get the second people handle it. And I run outside. I, uh, uh I, I shake, uh, you know, and, uh, and Beth awake, like, guys, Ooh. guys, no! Let me, let me pop in a, a lurker token for, for Jay. I believe he is, yeah. <laughs> oh god. I thought they were oh, insane. No. They're back. Oh, no. Change your place. Run. Everybody run. Ah! Potassium! <laughs> yeah, it's fatal. Let me paste him onto these. The, this, the other maps just to make sure he's there. Okay. Has everyone... You guys... Uh, who hasn't rolled initiative yet? Oh, I uh, every. Everybody but I rolled an I. Hang on, I need to roll it. No, 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 I rolled. I said, that's yeah, so why I said everybody but Emerald and I. Oh, sorry, sorry. Let's see, where is. Hold on, where did Beth go? She dead. No. Peanut Ader. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing about I, 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 He starts speaking, he, I am your new teammate now. I am your god now, bring me your virgins. I, I yeah. go boss, say right back to people. Alright, now let what me roll hell? for for <laughs> these guys. <laughs> I was drinking I... what he said. <laughs> I... God damn it. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, that is a lot of initiative. To Jesus, Kichi, please stop. Oh <laughs> please God. Stop. Please. please stop. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay. This... We have Peanut. We have God on our side. This is the I way know, it has to be. This, even though, even with that, this seems like a bit much. No, you guys are fine. Someone's fine. Might be friendly. Ah, uh, yes. All right. It looks like Razzle is up first. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move to about there on the tree, just to keep it covered. Um, now, can I see uh, that hyena uh, that's by the house, just by the fact that it's on fire? Okay, you, just to make sure. Um, well, yeah, you guys should be able to see that general area because fire. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, I think I, I, I think I have changed your token so that you should see what you're supposed to see. Yep, we can see it. I, I only see a little bit around me, and then that one house on fire. So. Yeah, if you don't have dar if you don't have dark vision, you won't have much sight. But the fires of the houses are illuminating the area. So, I only see one house on fire, though. Um, uh, I, you might be a little far away. I, I'm right here. This house is on fire, but there's a tree. Yeah, I like know, I know there are some houses down here, but I don't see them. Either. They're not on fire. Okay. All right. Um, I feel compelled to tell you then that, like, uh, is if if there's meant to be like dynamic lighting for this, I, I can just see the whole map. Curses! Hold on. I'm sorry. Curse you, dynamic lighting. Like, I know a lot is supposed to be like. Let's see. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? We'll just leave it at this one for now. It's fine. Because you guys can okay. see all these guys over here anyway because of the fire. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, since I'm over here, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, same as the, the, the first the last time, I'm going to target that hyena Hyaka dagger at it. Oh, yeah? Which one you have Hyakin at? I'm Hyakin it at, uh, hang on a second, this boy. Okay. Uh, 16. Oh, yuck. Oh, yuck. Yep. Mr. Goofy, you are here today being charged with a uh, mass homicide. <laughs> yup. <laughs> now, it seems that you were caught here on uh, CCTV holding uh, an AR-7. <coughs> gorge. Oh, gorge. <laughs> God damn it. So... <laughs> I did it. You said it. I did it. Okay, okay. Everyone in the group has become Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> Just say you didn't do it. I'll fucking do it again. <laughs> okay, then. So, Hyenas, their AC is 11. So, yeah, that hits. Hooray. Piss off, dog! Is that all you're doing? Uh, yeah, that's all I can do for the moment. And I'll just, uh, like, just call to everybody else, like, OVER HERE! Alright. No need to shout. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, uh, so it's the Noel's turn. This one over here. Let's see what you can do, Noel. Speed of... Yeah, okay. So he's gonna move... He'll move over here. Everyone's die. <laughs> and he'll just double dash. Can he make it? Yeah, he'll, he'll double dash and, and make it over here. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, okay. That's his turn. Now it's for uh, our badger. Hey, <laughs> God, do your thing. Oh, you are so screwed now. Go, no, peanut, he he's uh peanuts not quite fast enough to get all the way over there, but he can use his action and and uh movement to get over here. So at the very all least, right. he can get an attack of opportunity. No. Uh, oh. Okay, so 
So that's that one. A little bit of that. So he is going to. Por qué? Por qué? Por qué? Hmm. Okay. It's gonna use this ability. What? What? Oh, that's to GM. Public. What? Oh. He's gonna. Uh, is, that, is that and is that bonus action or is that? It's just his action. Oh. Okay. By sixty G. Yeah. Wh which means, like that's his just his general speed. So that means he I can know, get over. Because I know. <laughs> I know I'm guessing he has thirty feet, so it's ninety feet. He can move. Yep. He's, he's gonna. Going move. For the spaghetti. Oh my he's God. he's <laughs> gonna move. He's gonna move right up in here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 I use shocking touch on the null in front of me. Give me one sick. You you give me sick. Not at disadvantage. Uh Actually, is it possible for me to move around the knoll and then do it from the back? To yeah. Advantage? As long as you're not moving out of its immediate range, you can move around it. All right, perfect. I'm going to move behind it then. And so then I roll for advantage, right? Because I've never done this before. Mm-hmm. Awesome. All right, advantage. Shocking. Drop that motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Nice. Let me check something real quick. Uh, what is a rivet made out of? Metal. He's got metal in his armor. <gasps> oh. So wait, does that deal double damage or? What does that say in your spell? Oh, uh, give me a sec. You have an advantage on the attack if the target is wearing armor made of metal. Okay, well you already have advantage. advantage. Does it do anything else? Uh, on the hit, the target takes D1, 1D lightning damage that can't take reactions until the start of its next turn. Okay, so same thing as just a bit. Okay, cool, cool, yeah. cool. So that is five lightning damage. Yeah, yeet. Yeah, yeet. Yeah, yeet this lightning into this bitch. <laughs> okay, is that your turn? Well, if you can't make a reaction, so... I you can move if I... you want. I know, that's what I'm thinking. Um, I think I'll move right up here just to be a little bit away is away okay dazzle all right okay i am going to slash at this thing with my short sword and away from the dagger why don't you get, shouldn't you get behind it since you know you can't react you know i'm suddenly overcome with the urge to do what uh Zarek did behind it <laughs> And, yeah, I like, I do a little forward roll under its legs. I turn around and stab it. Does that get advantage? No, you're not flanking. Uh oh. Well, I'm uh -oh. stabbing him anyway. Wait, I accidentally did advantage. So it's well, the first one was a nat 20. You, you uh, keep the first roll. So, seven points. And then I, I pull out, I pull my, my, uh, instrument. It's like. <laughs> Hooray! I, I feel inspired. I've got God. Good. I've oh. got a an anime on. By the way, I have to ask: Is Beth a an, an NPC or is she another person's character? She's an NPC. Okay. It's generally oh. frowned upon to autopilot someone's character. Oh, yeah, that uh, that is why she is in the NPC section in your journal. All right. Oh, I, uh, oh, all right. Speaking of Beth, it's her turn. Uh, I guess she'll go up and and flank with this one. Yes. So that gives her advantage on the swacking. Swack. Let's see. Does a thirteen hit? It does hit. 
you had a guy. <laughs> All right, so that's, that's seven now... damage. So he's de they've already dealt 18 damage. Is that enough? No, because nope. they dealt five, 11. Right. That's 19 damage, I think, actually. Oh, yeah, no, you're right. It's uh, 19. It's not down yet. It's hurt, though. Dang. How's he looking, though? Very, very hurt. Uh, so give me... probably 20, then. Okay. Yeah. Give me a second. Shoot it until it dies. Wait. <laughs> Did it retract that statement? <laughs> I'm just looking at something really quick. You might ask yourself, well, how did I get here? And then Let the name the days go by. Character. Let the days go by. I was, uh, talking heads. Okay. I don't remember the name of the song. <laughs> I know, it's probably, you know, just saying the lyrics, but. Talking. So that's three heads. feet. Once in a lifetime. There we go. Oh, cool. He can get here. Same as it ever was. You are 30 hello, feet guys. away. Uh, oh, hello. Yeah, hello. Is uh, that a so gnoll or is that a hyena? It's a... It's, when you look at it, it looks... Well, actually, you can't really see it. Never mind. Should I roll for Can I not see or it? Or can I not do it on my turn? Off the turn? Um, you would have to do it on your turn, and it'd be a disadvantage. Okay. Well, never mind. It's, it's firelight, but you would have to do it yeah. on your turn. Okay. Uh, however, uh, Razzle can see it. It looks huh. it looks like a knoll, but it's uh, it seems to be breaking down somewhat. Kind of yes. not al kind of not alive looking. Oh. Razzle, Razzle takes one look at the uh, uh the fucking d d decaying knoll in front of him. You are one ugly motherfucker. It it hits you in response. Jeez. Oh, oh that hit. You are one ugly mother. <laughs> Sorry. And it's got multi attack, so That's half my health. That misses, however. Okay. Oh, thank God. Hyena. It's going to let's see. Can it make it? Yes, it can. And it's got pack tactics, so... Advantage on the attack. Do, 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 do. Does a 17, you lose 4 HP. Not gonna lie, uh, not looking too good right now. Hyena number 2. Kichi's just out for blood right now. Oh, okay. It's because I... It's because of the song, isn't it? I'm sorry. I didn't hear the song. So it, as far as it can get, it's just right here. And that's going to end its turn. Hermit's voice, like that one oh, video. Crap, Razzle, you gotta get <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do. So Tilda is going to... Uh, let me... Let me, Tilda, let me do something. Yeah, give, ah! me a, give, give me a second so I can make sure what Tilda can do. I think she can help you out. I know, I I could see that. Okay, okay. Oh lord. So do you want to take the bony one or the other normal one? I feel like the bony one would be better, but it, with how much damage it is dealing, I don't know if it would be a good idea. It, 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 would, it would be a much higher reward if we were getting it, but it's, is it worth the life of our comrade? Let's uh, see how. Let's see how fast we can kill these hyenas and other null. Yeah. Let's leave the what? Leave the one next to you alive for now. I partially wounded okay. one of the hyenas. So, so some of the jobs done for you. Can you make it over there? To, no, you can. Or can you? Hold on. What's a monk's speed? Um, Enough. That's what it is. Okay. Hey. So Tilda's gonna like run over. Naruto run past the fucking. <gasps> Oh yes, yeah, she can do that Healy thing. Yeah, yeah, she can. Yeah, she's a fucking Healy monk. Oh, that's cool. She's healy them feelies. 
Yeah, she's I forgot about that. She's gonna place her hand on your on your back, and let me see how much this gives you. With a pull, you can. So, what's your total hit points? My maximum hit points is eighteen, and right now I'm on five. Okay, so she's gonna heal you for thirteen hit points. Oh, sexy, very nice. Back up to full, y'all. Mm-hmm. And that's her action and movement, so I think that's her done. Yeah. You said that was 13? Yes. Okay. Alright, so you're not close to dying. <laughs> not anymore, I'm not. Uh, but I am currently surrounded, so a bit of a tactical retreat. So I'm going to uh, disengage my action. Okay. Uh, as my bonus action, I'm gonna burn uh, a point of inspiration, uh, a bardic inspiration, and uh, give one to uh, Tilda. All right. All right. Uh, I'll just be like, uh, "Thanks for the save. Good luck." And then I'll just dip out. <laughs> <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. And as I run away um, like, like, towards uh, uh, towards Dazzle, I'm like, "I'm sorry." And, then you, uh, then I'll... you see another null in front of you. Rawr! Yeah, but this one's nearly dead, right? Yeah, close to it. I'll just go, oh, hello. Let's see. Okay, so it's this null's oh, turn. Dazzle, the way we might be able to capture that null. He's going to go it's still going to be difficult. on this side. Oh, Lordy. Yep. Wait, passing by Tilda, wouldn't that provoke an attack of opportunity? It didn't leave her threat. Her. It didn't, yeah, it didn't leave her threat range. Okay. It can go, you, you can go around a target as long as you don't leave its reach. Gotcha. So no, I'm sorry. When I think about it, I think of um, divinity uses the same thing, but it's if you even get close to the target, you immediately get hit. Yeah, yeah. he's going to use his spear. That's in. That's a hit. Eighteen. Oh, I mean, eight damage. <laughs> jeez. So that leaves you with, yeah. All right, that's his turn. Now it's time for for uh, Peanut. Peanut. God himself now attacks. Uh, Peanut's just gonna God go for. Destroyed the world. Peanut's gonna go for this one right here because it's right in front of him. No, Peanut, go for the hyenas. No, Peanut does what he wants. Peanut's gonna go for what's in front of him. <laughs> it's kind of a dying knoll too, so like. Yeah, but that would be a very it, thing, interesting thing to study, I have to admit. Peanut's an animal. They killed me! So that's a nine. Okay, not enough to kill her. Let's see if the bite attack will. Uh, I don't think that hits. Let me see, that's a... Okay, let's see if that hits. Nope, doesn't hit. All right. So it's 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 falling apart, but it's not dead yet. Okay. Well, the knoll that's been shockety shock doc doc. It's not your turn. Oh no, yeah, no. oh yeah, it's his turn. Let's it's, see. I was about to say it's his turn. Yeah, it is. Kind of leading into that. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Who 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 did the shockety shock shock? I want to answer that question. <laughs> oh no no you're. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. Yeah. He can move up and not leave your threat ranges. No way he, he'd leave Razzles. You are so lucky. Yeah. <laughs> am, I to, am I allowed to make a, a, an attack of opportunity be non- Um, It depends on what weapon you're using, but he's not moving away, so. Okay. So he's gonna look at you. And, uh, let's see. Oh, he has three attacks. And you yeah, and wait, me. wait, wait, how many yeah. does he have? Well, hold on a minute. <laughs> oh, God. So okay. he's just going to go for a round attacks on all three of you. First, a bite towards Beth. That hits. Oh, mm. my gosh. Then a sword attack towards Razzle. Which I deflect. And a so and a bite attack towards... Come on, freaking thing. Dazzle. Dazzle. I know, it'll be confusing. No, no, my, my mouse was freezing. Is that a hit? All right, so is that hit? no, it misses. No, me. that's that, that's no. The short sword was uh, Beth, Razzle. Beth, Razzle, Dazzle. Yes. 
So, so Irish, does that hit you? No. Okay. Okay. So, so Beth takes. A, yep, Beth takes a bite yeah, attack. Alright. Zarek. Alright. Um. Do it! I have a plan. Uh, I move over here, and, um, can you show me how, the, what the lightning says? Because it says 30 feet by 5 feet. That means, basically, your body width. Okay. Gotcha. Wow. Yeah. That's not lightning strength, that's a lightning tree. <laughs> yeah, because, like, because, <laughs> yeah. like, 5 feet is a square. Right. I guess. You. So it's basically a line. Okay. Um... No, because I wouldn't be able to hit more. Alright, so I will cast Magic Missile on this knoll and these two hyenas. Because I'm within range, I believe, even for the faraway one. No, okay. I'm not. Never mind. I, can... I will cast two missiles on this one and one on the one next to these guys. So. Okay. Um, so roll the... a Magic Missile attack. Alright. Uh -oh. Yes. Where? Oh, that the, one too. The gnome that's close to Tilda. Yeah. Okay. Um. I'll go. I want to go for the hyena though, because the hyena. Well, okay. it, 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 they didn't. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's dangerous. So. It's still dangerous. Uh, ro so, roll. Yeah. Yep. Give me a second. I'm pulling it up. All right. So that's two force damage. Uh, you said you were doing um two to this one, right? Two to that one and one to this one. Okay. Over here. So this one here is still up, but barely. The uh, what, the null or the hyena? The null, the hyena's dead. This one right here, shoot, really? All right, well, it, was, it had already been hit. Oh, so. that's right. I threw my dagger at it. Yeah, that's right. Awesome. All right, anything else on your turn? Um, I feel like the hyena could get close to me. Uh, I am going to take uh, another step back. And then I will end my turn. Okay. All right. Okay. Dazzle. For my bonus action, I want to yell to Tilda and give her some inspiration. Oh wait! I think there you already. Um, yeah, Tilda already has inspiration. I, I forgot to say. Hmm? I, I had inspiration. Um, does magic missile affect by affected by advantage or? I mean. No, inspiration will only help you hit. Magic missile hits automatically, so it won't do okay. anything. Okay, sorry, go ahead. Okay, she already has inspiration, so guess what? Nut face. <laughs> <laughs> like, this, the, the, this is a very inspired badger. And I want to jump up on this snow. I want to jump up and grab his collar, and I want to punch him right in the face as hard as I can in the hopes I can knock him out. Okay. With, like, one end of my dagger. Okay. So, so roll it. Roll your attack. Okay, with the dagger. Non lethal. Okay, that that does not hit. So you you swing and a miss. So now it's uh Beth's turn. Uh let's see, does she have She's flanking, so yeah, she'll try for non lethal damage on it. Use her, she'll use her club. That hits. So this one is down to zero and unconscious. Hooray! Yes. How, how long does it stay unconscious for? No um, or no? Uh, I'd say long enough for a short rest, so maybe an hour. Okay, so we have the rest of this battle then. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, it'll be knocked out unless, you know, something brings it back up, which I don't think will. I don't think the gnolls are that smart. I don't know. We don't know. I mean, they attacked a farmstead that is pretty ballsy. We won't lie. <laughs> Alright, so that's her turn. One second. Let me check a thing. Yeah. Alright. 
So that's two enemies down. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. That's yeah, public. Cool. God damn it, Emerald. You got that song sticking in my head there. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a good song, Letting though. Letting the days go by. Letting my... <laughs> Letting the days go by. Same as it ever was. Hey, uh, hey, Umbra, what's your AC? It is. Uh, I think it's like 10. So oh, God, why? I know. Uh, so wait, he threw... As a wait. hidden knoll comes into view. Wait, what? Uh, Where? Did all, were all three of these attacks directed at me? Yeah. You see this fucker over here? I'm down. My health is 9. I'm down. Your health is 9? What's your AC again? 10. So all these Ooh. attacks hit. Oh, no. I want oh you God, to, does no. that mean death? I want you to roll a constitution saving throw. Oh my god. No, 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 no. 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 Oh my god. Oh no. And your total health is 10? It's 9. My armor class is 10. Okay, how much health did you have before you got hit? 9. 10. Mmm. Sorry. Ah. Uh, your body hits the ground. <laughs> oh no. Breath kind of slowly flows out from your body. That ends his turn. Did that just happen? Did I seriously- so I'm seriously just dead. Yeah. <laughs> yes! Yeah. Uh, if you go uh, negative, your max HP- uh, If you go negative, your max HP, dead uh, instantly. Uh, yeah! You and I are working on a new character later. <gasps> That's my br- I- uh. Uh, uh. uh, okay, hold up. What is your maximum? Nine. 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 Is it nine, or was it, or was it nine before you got hit? Nine before I got hit. Like, what's your absolute maximum? Like, healed up to the nine. He has nine. I'm just making sure. I'm just, I'm, I'm just yeah. trying to <laughs> clarify this. Just, just before. Fuck. Let me just. I'm sorry. I gotta leave. I can't take this. I'm well, sorry. No, this is DM. This is DM Kichu's game. So yeah. I don't know be the rules lawyer here. However, I'm going to double check to see if it's go over your maximum in one hit or just go over your maximum in general. You know what? Actually, hold on. I okay. Oh, is there hope? Is there hope? Hold on, hold on. These, hold on. These are these are ranged attacks. Let me see. Well, that's does, he ha does he have no, I'm, no, I'm checking to see if he has because if he saw you went down, he would have gone for someone else. Okay. You know what? Yes. You went down at the second hit. So that third sphere, I'm going to say it's going towards, um, towards Dazzle. Okay, so the sphere that I hit. Yeah, the third, the yeah, third so that, hit. That hit attack yeah. So... Umbra, your character is not dead, but you are unconscious. Oh, Christ. Jesus Christ. Oh. This is, another, this is what Chuggle felt like on our earlier <laughs> game. Jesus oh, oh, no, Chuggle had it worse. Oh, he, he, he got oh, he hit with three nat 20s in a row. Here's the thing. Here's the difference. Mercy saved you, Umbra. Bullshit saved Chuggle. <laughs> and now I'm going to go back and mute. Yeah, I, I forgot that was multiple attacks. Yeah, I didn't know, I, 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 I didn't know that that was a thing with multiple attacks. So. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh 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 oh. <laughs> you don't ever do that to me again. <laughs> so uh. You are having a very deep talk with Ricarm later. Hey, I I, I literally just started playing shop. Okay. Alright, so Witherling, he is gonna go toward... No, he's gonna attack a... Oh, okay. He's, yeah, he's gonna attack the badger. 
That doesn't hit. Doesn't hit. Okay. No hits there. Fool! No one can kill God. Hyena. That one is dead. That one is not dead. That one's gonna go after... Oh, oh no you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I know! Spooky! <laughs> like, actually, like... <sighs> oh, I'm on the GM later. That's why I would like... Okay. Alright, so that one's... It's gonna go after Tilda, because she's right there. I'm just gonna move this body out the way. He's gonna step up. Aina, attack at advantage. Side attack. That does not hit Tilda. Yeah, okay. Tilda's fine. Um, <sighs> let me see if Tilda has a thing to bring your squishy ass back up. Let's see. I'm trying to see if they have if she has like step of the wind or something. Did she? Hey, uh, Solar, does Step of the Wind come in at level three? Uh, I believe so. Hang on, let me just look it up really quickly. It should be. I do think so. I I'm, I'm browsing it right now. Uh, I was looking for DMs while I was looking into that. Does huh. healing word, do they need to be awake? Uh, no. It's just 30 feet away. Okay, okay good. That's what I was looking Okay, for. yeah, you get Step of the Wind at level two. So. Okay, so yeah, she's gonna use step of the. She's gonna use a key point for step of the wind. Was it sixty feet? It is. You can use it to dash, or you can use it to disengage as a bonus action. So okay, so she's gonna use it to disengage as a bonus action. And just yeet self. Yep, she's gonna rush over here, cause squishy wizard died. Well, not died, but. <laughs> 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 She's gonna use her healing hands to to give you nine hit points. <laughs> she she's gonna look at you and say, "Please stop dying." You know, I saw I, I saw our monk Luca Umbra, and I looked at the chat and saw the bite action. I was like, "The fuck!" <laughs> oh. All right, uh, Razzle. All right, so Razzle goes through like a lot of emotion, seeing his ball pretty much in his eyes die, and then only to be like brought back up by uh, uh, by the, the monk. So he turns, fucking pissed off, to this knoll oh, yeah. here. He takes out his lyre and he's going to cast dissonant whispers. Dissonant whisper, wisdom yeah. save. Okay. And um, uh, what I say to the knoll while I pluck at the strings of my uh, my lyre. Hide will look good on Oh god dang it. It snarls at you. Alright, it take, it still takes four psychic damage though. Okay. And which one? Was it this one over here? No, this yeah. one right here. Okay. Yep. So four psychic damage. And then I will use the rest of my uh, movement since I that uh, just pissed it off to regroup with the team up here. That's here. Alright. Well, it's his turn. Let's see how far away you are. Yeah, Not you're with, you're in his range, backup, yeah. But I've got backup. You do, but he's gonna go after you. All right, fair enough. Come at me. Come at me, bro. Do I get attack of Uh, no, it didn't leave your threat range. range. Okay. All um, right. It's got. Yeah, it's gonna go for a bad attack. Come on, come on, hit me. That okay? That hits. Four damage. All right. I'm still up. Peanut! It's gonna try and kill this fucking withering knoll in front of it. Yeah. Literally, literally. Where are you? How is it always that we have, like, the closest calls whenever we're at the final battle of all of your god dang sessions? Like, everything that leading up to is like, oh yeah, no, it's fine. It's like, oh my god! That's why it's the final battle. Okay, so it kills that witherling. And it's got another attack, so it's gonna move up to the hyena. Good boy! It does have does inspir have inspiration. He does, so. But he's gonna go up to this hyena. Try a claw attack. Doesn't need the inspiration, it hits. Like peanut, 
<laughs> and inspiration doesn't add on to damage, it's just a hit, right? Yeah. No. Okay, that's what I thought. Alright, so, Hyena's not dead, but it's hurt. Next attack. Uh, that is unconscious, so. Zarek. Alright. You are, oh, you are conscious. I have a plan. Um. Not, don't die. Yeah. Wait, guys, I have a plan. Is this Noel on top of the roof? Uh, no, it's behind the barn. Or behind the house. Can I, can I, can I, I don't have line of sight. Okay. I'm gonna move up here. And using... Where, where is it? Uh, I'm looking at the wrong... Using, uh... Minor conjuration. I conjure... A bear, a hunter trap right beneath the knoll's feet. Okay. Uh, what? Let's see, hunter trap. Let me see. Is that a deck save? Because because it's like, it, the hunter trap is basically a bear trap and it's gonna close right on its feet as soon as it's con finished conjuring, right? Let me check something. Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna be on your character sheet, so don't move anything. No worries. That is no, not within 10 feet of you. Oh, shoot, that's right. I'm sorry. It was. I, I forgot it was 10 feet range. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And in that case. And it says it has to be in an unoccupied space, so you can't conjure something oh, under someone. That's right. Thank you for reminding me. Okay. Uh, I. Shoot. Right. I'm running out of options. <laughs> I know. Um. I cast sleep on the knoll with the barn. Okay. Cast it. Uh. Because I'm level two, does that mean I can get to cast it at that level? Um, do you have a spell slot for second level spells? No. Then nope. Okay. Yeah, it's not related to your character level. Gotcha. So. <clears throat> 24? Ooh. Yeah, it goes to sleep. <gasps> we got <Yeah>. two. <laughs> Alright, um, I am going to run off into the corner over here and hop. I <laughs> oh, right, sir. Uh, where'd he go? <laughs> Kale, brother, you did it, and there he goes. Dazzle. Okay, I want to do something weird. Can I shoot an arrow into his foot to kind of nail him to the ground? Um, no. Knolls are pretty strong feet. Though. You you they wouldn't be able to do that with an arrow. You can shoot it in the foot, but it wouldn't be able to you nail like it to anything. You'd need like a spear, like a metal spear, and you need to shove it okay. deep into the ground. Okay. Yeah, you can't do that with an arrow. So, not doing that. I am going to short sword and dagger. I'm using it on the knoll that's above the sleeping one guy there. Okay, that one is, I believe, just normal knoll. That does not hit. Doesn't doesn't hit. It's fourteen. I got some BP armor classes. Yeah, no oh, kidding. <laughs> All right. All right. So she is. Since this no no well yeah it's unconscious so yeah she can step ar kind of step around it and get on this side without provoking because she's just gonna step over the thing. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Are we trying to kill this one or save it? Uh, kill it! Okay. Kill it, please! Kill it! He shouts for the fit. He, he just <laughs> hears it in his voice. Kill it, please! Alright, she stabs it with four or five. It's still up. Okay. 
Yeah, DM slip up. Just imagine she yelled over to Peanut and says, Peanut says, do we want to kill it? <laughs> Tell Peanut yes! You're asleep. For the love of God! You're dead. You're dead. You're not dead. Okay, you're gonna go after Peanut. You're gonna hit Peanut. So that's three damage to Peanut. Angered the beast, how dare you. <laughs> and now it is Tilda's turn. She's gonna go up to this this fucker. And no so <laughs> Yeah, it, it really is. Oh, you know what? She's she's gonna go over here so she's flanking. Alright, so that's going to be quarter staff. That does not hit. And bonus Good action, Lord. unarmored strike. That does hit. Okay, five damage. Not dead yet. Slap the shit out of it. <laughs> Razzle. I'm going to uh, just take out my rapier and just go for just a straight dab right into it. Alright, go for it. Oh, fuck, that misses. Yes, that does miss. Damn it. Uh, 15 armor class. Blank, dude. Yeah. Blank. In that case, what I will do... Uh, 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 just, just because I've just noticed this on his sheet, you notice he's, like, blocking you with a shield. Oh, okay. damn, armor class. Huh, that makes sense. Uh, in that case, I will... I will take out my lyre, and I will use my bardic inspiration on, uh, on Dazzle. Oh, all right. Let's see. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Would Razzle be flanking because of uh, what's your face right here? What you said? Would Razzle be flanking because of uh, what's your face right here? Yes. Oh, I would be. Oh, in that case, I'll, I'll go again. Still Never doesn't mind. hit. Would have been good damage though. No, no, it's fine. I prefer you guys jumping in to catch stuff that I miss because I miss a lot of stuff. It's okay. All right. Uh, is that your turn? Yep, that's me. I'm done. Okay, Noel's turn. Uh, let's see who's he gonna go for. Yeah, he'll go for for you because you just tried to attack him, Razzle. All right, go for it. Hit me, but or maybe don't. <laughs> Well, luckily, he doesn't have a uh, uh, multi-attack. He also doesn't have God, Ergo, Peanut on his side. Yeah, but he does have a spear. Alright, hit me. Doesn't hit. Or maybe not. Bitch, that doesn't hit. But now... That would have been a lot of damage. It would have been. The pain train's coming. Yeah. Peanut's... Oh, there's still a Null there. Peanut's gonna attack the Null. Watch out, watch out, watch out! Uh, oh wait, that's a hyena. Let's see, that probably hits. Let me make sure. I forgot that hyena was still alive. Yep, that hits. That hyena be dead, yo. He be dead. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Alright, now Peanut's gonna run over here. And. Oh, he's so fucked. Yeah. Claw that knoll. Yeah. Claw on the knoll. Doesn't hey, hit. Uh, he does have a shield, though. Yeah. I won't you die! Zarek. I don't think I'll be able to make it over there. Um, you have a you have a range weapon, right? I have a light crossbow, but if I miss, it's gonna hit one of my teammates. No, it won't. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to move in line of sight. Yeah, the and... only the only way I would have it hit a teammate is if you rolled a nat one. <laughs> yeah, like seriously, it's just. Asking for you know, go escape, ahead, roll. Death. You're fine. That's true. This is what magic missile was made for, by the way. I already used magic missile. 
Not a lot of spell slots. Yeah, I'm out of spell slots. Oh shit. Give him arrow slots in his God dang it, I missed. Ping goes off the shield. Ah. I am going to use the help action by grabbing some dirt and uh, take a page from there. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I just realized something. Right. Razzle, don't you have inspiration? I'm a... uh Dazzle has inspiration. Oh, okay. Never mind. Carry on. Okay, yeah, I do have inspiration now. So I'm going to... You can roll and then use it. Yeah, I'm gonna get the dagger. Don't need that hits. It does hit. Yeah, I just stabbed him right in the waist. All right. Beth. Attack at advantage. She's going to use her short sword. Miss! That would have been good damage, it. too. Get your shit together. You're a sweet... Why can't you be like Peanut? <laughs> Let's see. That's just unrealistic. Why can't you be like one punch bag? Oh, gee, let me just do some squats. <laughs> Let's see. You're dead. You're dead. Dead, dead. Hilda. Yep. She's gonna try and punch it. And she's flanking. Watcha! That hits. Yeah, yeah. And that you know takes it. Thing. That takes it out. Hell yeah. Hooray. Yep, it is dead. Oh, townspeople are in their houses hiding. Okay, before we attend to the townspeople, I, I don't mean to interrupt, but we need to get this. We need to get these unconscious gnolls tied up immediately. Agreed. Oh, I start pulling out my rope and I start tying up uh, this I, one. I, I rush over to the one by the burning house and I, I, help, I, help and I start taking out my rope and wrapping it up. How much rope does this burn to wrap up one gnoll, by the way? Uh, I would. We're would... tying its hands and feet and yeah. but binding it, binding it, and I, I actually no, I'd also say binding its arms and I, and feet. I'd and say considering the strength and size of a knoll to properly bind it to a point where you would feel safe, I would say it would take the fifty feet. Okay, uh, I have basically like feet, a so fucking just... moment. Well, whatever oh, okay, you, forty uh, feet is fine. Yeah. Okay, but I'll use the last bit of my rope for that. However, okay. I want both of you to roll sleight of hands. Hang on, real quick. The way I don't know. Does it matter how we tie it? Is it just gonna roll the dice? The dice is unique. What do you think? It it doesn't matter how like how you how you really describe okay. it. I don't so think. The tying technique doesn't matter, so we just roll sleight of hands. Right? Yeah, I want both of you to roll sleight of hands. Okay. Come on, Dazzle. Fail me now. Oh, yeah. fail me. And I'm going to. One second. I need to check something on the note. Oh, God, we're gonna wake it up, Hartley. Uh, please. Hold on. <laughs> Don't you run away from me. <laughs> no, you stay right where you were. <laughs> you don't get to tell people not to run away, you <laughs> fucking blue ball coward. <laughs> yeah, we're still next to it. You don't get to just walk away. Oh, I'm sorry. I, didn't... I couldn't help but notice the trail of piss you left going into the top left corner of the map. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Were you the one that almost died? Basically, saw the gods after you died. <laughs> no. Hey, Ninja. Sorry, I wear armor. Ninja. British Ninja. Paging Mr. He's... British Ninja. Mr. He British Ninja. Okay. Oh, no, he's here. oh, there you are. So, Ninja. What should I have? What would the knoll. Like, I'm trying to see if they don't wake up the knoll. What would I base that off? Well, sleep is unconscious. Until for about a minute. Until like, until something like slaps it awake, until essentially. Something slaps it awake. A slap is a fairly hard thing. If they like dropped them, that would be a pretty easy call to be like, yeah, he's awake now. Um. Yeah, they rolled a fourteen and a six of sliding hand, sleight of hand while tying them up. You think that's enough? Yeah, I think that's enough. Okay. Ten. Oh, thank God. Ten is Ten is your average. Okay, I'll go with I'll go with ten as the DC. This was this is phone a friend. <laughs> uh, 
Thanks. Thank you. Uh, All right. That, what, does, it, does that mean we woke him up or? I'd say that um, Zarek is super duper spooked about this thing that almost killed him. So he's being extra careful and uh, getting him tied up without waking him. Okay. Uh, what about those guys? Did they tie up the other one? I don't know. Did they? Well, you don't, you don't really have to roll sleight of hand. That one is unconscious. The other one is asleep and will wake up yeah. in a minute. Okay, okay. Well, then I'll just I'll just I'll just bind this one and then as soon as he's uh done, I want to fucking run over here and make sure that Zarek's okay. I'm fine. I'm Are you fine. Dead? Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, no, we 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 bound the gnolls, we killed the rest. We're, we're, we just need to. We should. We need to check on the town. So by the, by the a fucking spear to the chest. Are by, you sure you're okay? <laughs> he looks at his look at looks at his like giant bloody cloak as there is a hole torn, not only through the front fabric of it but through the back. And Til you can just see blood everywhere. It's Til like, no, Tilda will walk I'm over. Here, here. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry. Before we go, before we move any further, I'm just gonna press to digitate all the blood off of his clothes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just it's just holes. So Til the body of Hold on, hold on. Tilda walks over um, and says, he I've taken care of his mortal wounds. He is fine. However, she points at the knoll as it starts to wake up. Ah. Uh, well, you want to punch it back to unconsciousness? Wait, everybody take this motherfucker! And I <laughs> Wait. the handle of my... Should we all go after it and start punching it? Is that... Yes. Okay. Specif I'm specifying. I, I take out. I take out. Of my dagger as a blunt. All right. So I take it. Dagger. I take out my quarter staff and I. All right. It. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Point of order. Okay. Let me see. Cause it's gonna be able. Clockwise. To... I'm gonna get you guys. You guys can all roll, and then it's gonna roll a strength check to try and get out of those ropes if it survives. Okay. Wow. Um. It is bound and tied up. I assume this is all. Is this all non lethal? Yes. Not okay. Lethal, so so you got you guys will well it's just declaring, hey, I'm not trying to kill this person. You use a melee attack. Okay. So, so a strength check? No, it's just a, a weapon attack. Okay, sorry, sorry. No. Advantage. Yes, advantage because it is bound on the ground and tied up. Okay. Yeah. That'll do it. Okay, oh. and let me roll for Beth. Not Beth, um Tilda. Uh, she's. This is an advantage. It just takes out his core staff. <laughs> now let me do some math here. It takes all of you until it finally goes unconscious on Tilda's swing. <laughs> Yeah, like, you guys wail on it, and it's still awake, and then Tilda just walks over and THWACK hits it with her with her uh, quarterstaff, and it finally goes unconscious. Oh my god, that's great. Dazzle gets a thong clap. <laughs> Such form. Alright. But the knoll's bound. Uh, we, we, we really gotta go check on the townsfolk now. Alright, you guys. DM, yes, yes. I, we move the unconscious knoll away from the burning building over to the other one. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Notionally, the the gnolls are over here. The townsfolk have even like tied up the unconscious one with more rope just to make sure. Uh, well, while they are, while they while they are helping the townsfolk, I'd like to investigate the withering knoll. Okay. Uh, uh, uh yeah. Well, I'd like to loot it after I investigate it. Okay. Should I, it, does that go hand in hand? Or? Uh, well, yeah, investigation is looking for loot and figuring it out. Like, you would roll to try and figure out what it is, um, and then in the other in investigation would be for loot. Alright, so nature and then investigation? No, just investigation. Okay. No, oh, whoops, I had it on advantage. So. Well, so your, your first roll was 12. Um... That was to look over to see what it is. Yeah, you, you don't quite know what it is. Considering you didn't know much about gnolls in the first place, this is even more foreign to you. And then look for loot. Okay, I'll so loot as well. I will roll for loot later. Okay. But you guys will find some stuff, I just have to roll for it. I'll write down what okay. you rolled. Cool. Um, just pen around. 
me if it finds people. Yeah, so uh, you you guys uh, spend some time checking around on the townsfolk, um, helping to put out fires. Uh, hold on. I'm just getting rid of the fires here. <clears throat> nope, that is road. <laughs> that is road. That is road. That is road. Uh, I want to check on the tree, like make sure the tree is still okay. The tree seems to be perfectly fine. It, it doesn't look like any of the fire got to it, and the gnolls didn't really make it past the first couple of houses. So the oh, tree okay. is fine. Um, it looks like the fire hadn't gotten a chance to spread, though you do get a feeling if it had been much longer, the fire would have started spreading to the rest of the town. Right. Uh, they, so you guys are looking around. Most of the villagers seem okay. Um, Dazzle. Roll perception. I can't see anyone. Yeah, it's because the um, fire's gone. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, th yeah, the dynamic lighting did work. It's just the fire lit everything. Cool. So, you're looking around. Uh, you see... I'm, I'm just going to turn off dynamic light just so just for the fucking ease of it hey look you guys the sun is rising so um you you see torchlight in, uh coming from your house well your former house your brother's house and they run up towards you have you seen sam shit 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 he we we don't know where he is he disappeared before the gnolls. Before the gnolls, where was he? I think he was checking something out in the barn. I don't know. Okay, uh, let's, uh, I'm gonna go to the barn and meet them and head to Okay. I'll go with them. Alright. I want you guys to roll a round of investigation checks. Also, I investigated the dead gnoll that had the shield. Did I get anything off of him? I will roll for loot later. <laughs> you did find stuff. I just have to roll for it. Gotcha. Okay. Investigation. Whoa. It's good. It's good, yeah. It's, it's good, yeah. It's, it's good. Uh, Oof, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me let me roll for... for uh, I thought you, I thought you said all, all of you roll investigation. Yeah, all of you roll. Yeah. Okay, we did. Also, uh, apparently there are bells and whistles in the neighborhood, so, you know. Oh, yeah, that's normal. Yeah, we are going back there. It's just investigation. Investigation. Um, Oh, hello. Oh, hello, <laughs> okay, so you guys look around and not too far from the barn in the fields, you see what looks like a struggle. You see footprints and not human footprints and, and scrape marks and little splatters of blood and it looks like there are footprints leading out of town towards the forest. Oh, God. And that's or where we're going. And that's where we're going to cut off this session. Fuck. <laughs> I was about to say I I don't I don't know if I could go a, a few hours.